You see, there's one thing can convince me that Muhammad is a prophet, and that is that his God is the only God he care for the penis of men. There's no other God he care for that. He's the only God who will give us 70 years orgasm. You know, the Muslim, they can speak about everything as they wish. They can fabricate miracles. They can fabricate all kinds of things. But there is no way can explain to us how stupid this idea to believe that there's a God who is a vagina vendor. There's a God, each time I sleep with the women, he make a version for me. There's a God, he provide me women who all of them look the same, have the same face, the same eyes, the same mouth, the same name, the same color, the same height, and they sing the same song. It's like a Barbie store. And yet they want to convince me that this is God. The idea of having women who they are all look the same. Not only that, Muslims, they claim that when we go to heaven, all of us, we will look like who? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? We will look like who when we go to heaven? Who remember? <laughs> Anyone? Nobody remember? Joseph, thank you. <laughs> Guys, all of us, we will go to heaven and all of us will look like a prophet Joseph. Question. How we will know each other? How I will know who is he who is, who, I mean, if all of us look like Joseph, have the same age of Jesus, 33 years old, we are 60 arm tall like Adam. I mean, this is the most funny, stupid heaven ever. How we will know who is who? All of us will look exactly the same. How that can be from God? You know what I mean? The idea of believing in such a thing, you have to be mentally ill. And all the women, they look exactly the same. All of them. <clears throat> imagine you sign in a, in a dating website and then all women there they have one profile one age one picture all the men there they have one age one picture one height <laughs> uh, I will play a video, a short video. Don't for lie. You. Don't lie. What is, just, just to make, say just to make some tea. All right. Give me a minute, guys, to make some tea. I will play this video for you, and I will be right, right back. Let us hear to this, and I will be back right with you. Ship or ship is to take it as God. Do you see the Quran? Okay. Read, read with me. Read with me. The Quran says, "Take my mother as God." Do you see it? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm read again. Beside Allah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, take my mother for God. Beside Allah, okay. See? What, what is okay? What is God in Islam? What what people do to God? My they friend, don't tell me what is God. Have, don't don't go. I mean, what, what a game you are playing. God they is God. Them. God is God. So the Quran claim that there's in Christianity, in Christianity, those who they are Nasara, they worship three gods. One, his name is Isa. One, his name is Mary, and one, his name is Allah. Okay, I will prove it to you from the Quran. Okay. Mm -hmm. That the Allah, the, all the, the pagans used to believe in gods. Whoever they worship, that is their gods. So worship means when you're asking somebody help. So what does that you mean? Ask, My friend. Asking somebody help, that's, that's worship. My friend, you are the one so who it, said, you are the one who said that if you ask somebody for help, is act of worship. When I was saying that, you just cut me right in the middle. No, you were when talking about Mary. You were talking about so Mary. Asked, so I if somebody, you, you are the one who said that if somebody asks someone for help, he is he is asking well, someone for help. He is doing an act of oh, worship. If you don't do that, help me. And if I ask my daughter to help me to get me a cup of tea, that means I'm worshiping him. Come on, don't play with words. Help. You know what I mean, help. What help? What when does you, that mean? Okay, tell me what help. Tell me what help. Help is about what? It's about salvation. It's about going to heaven. When you, when you ask this is about, somebody. My friend, this is about religion. This is not about help to make zucchini. This is about religion. So help here. Is about you being saved from torture. In the, this, this, we're talking about judgment day. When I look, for, if, I, if I if I'm here, mm. like, sitting in my sitting room, mm. and I'm asking, Oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, help me 
and uh, and do this for me and do this for me that will be a worship and that's what exactly allah is talking about the people does to mary and jesus and people are still doing my mary. friend interpretation so, so please interpretation if you are a truthful show me the interpretation of what you just said hey jason here i'm going to share one of the most powerful secrets in the business world okay let me start with something that's easy and a no-brainer to be successful a business needs to be able to find customers we all know that right but here's the key most businesses suck at finding customers enter the most powerful secret and most powerful business that i know and love is what we call the bridge the bridge man the bridge man does nothing but helps this business owner find customers for their business and oh, sorry there's an ad Catholics do what's God? Business. What's God? Okay, you're the one who said that Sorry. if the if the if, if the Catholic they ask Mary for help, that will make her that's God, goodness. correct? If they know in the eyes of God, that's a worship. So that is no problem, God. that's a worship. So if you ask Muhammad, if you ask Muhammad to pray for you, that is an act of worship. No Muslim asks Muhammad Hassan to help. He's dead. When in his lifetime, people ask him to help. And you can ask a good person in a lifetime to help or pray, pray to God. Anybody saintly human being, you can say, look, can you pray to God for me? You are a good human being. You can in a lifetime. But when that person died, I cannot ask that person. Do you know there's a hadith of Umar Razi Allah anhu? He, uh, when the rain wasn't coming, he went to the uncle of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abbas. And he said, in the lifetime of the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we used to go to him for ask for rain to pray for us. Now he's there, so we asking you. If, if you ask Muhammad, help yeah. when he is dead that is an act of worship absolutely all right it's sure all right okay as long guys as long we stop here did you hear this guy he said if we ask muhammad when he is dead this is an act of worship he said that right last time he uh, like the conversation was long and we did not finish because i was going to show him actually that yes muhammad obviously he was worship because Muhammad, he claimed that when he is dead, the prayer of the Muslims will be played in front of him. If we go a little bit here, that is an act of worship. Absolutely. All right. It's God. Anybody saintly human being, you can say, look, can you pray to God for me? You are a good human being. You can in a lifetime. But when that person died, I cannot ask that person. Do you know there's a hadith of Umar Razi Allah anhu? He, uh, when the rain wasn't coming, he went to the uncle of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abbas. And he said, in the lifetime of the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we used to go to him for ask for rain to pray for us. Now he's there, so we're asking you. If, if you ask Muhammad help yeah. when he is dead, that is an act of worship. Absolutely. All right. It's sure. Absolutely. Okay. If you go in the hadith, we will find the following. Look what Muhammad he said. <clears throat> read read and laugh this is abbas from the speaker he's a speaker corner okay i hope he will call again it says among the most excellent of your days is a friday who is talking muhammad so invoke many blessing on me by the way it doesn't say blessing again this is a praying on me on that day so Muhammad is asking Muslim to pray on him in that day, okay? For your prayer, not a blessing, will be submitted to me. Do you see it, guys? Do you see where the prayer is submitted? To Muhammad. We just heard this guy in the debate, or if we can have a conversation, saying that if you ask Muhammad or if you pray to Muhammad and he is dead, this is an act of worship. And look what the Muslims to confirm that this is Muhammad is dead now. Look what it says. The companion, they said, they ask, O oh, Messenger of Allah. I look like I have too many. I need to close some programs. Let us close this one. All right. Okay, they said to him, 
O Messenger of Allah. How can our prayer be submitted to you when your body has decayed? He said, S A W S Mercedes Benz, Allah has forbidden it, the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. But look here, we have a problem. Let us say that the earth does not consume the body of the Prophet, which is a joke. Muhammad proven to be false because by saying that he got himself busted again. All the hadith report that when Muhammad they die, he stink, and uh, uh, his uh, his skin color change and his nails change and he start farting. But this is not the problem here. The problem is Muhammad he claimed that because his body is not be, to be consumed, he is alive, and he is yet in the grave, but he is alive, and all the prayer of the Muslim will be submitted to him. If Muhammad is not God, why the prayer of the Muslims will be submitted to him? Do we have any Muslim have an answer? Anyone? How Muhammad is dead and the prayer of you Muslims are going to be submitted to him? Who is he? I thought the prayer would be to, to, to Allah. And you see, they lie when they say blessing in Arabic here it says Salatakum Ma'ruda Ali. Salatakum Ma'ruda Ali. Your prayer is submitted to me. Why the prayer of the Muslims will be submitted to Muhammad? And they said to him, and how our prayer will be submitted to you? He said, that the blessed Allah, he forbid the ground from consuming the, the flesh of the prophets. Which means Muhammad, he claimed that he's alive. He's not dead. And Muhammad, he claimed to be God. Because if Allah, he, he made him, he made him the one who received the prayer of the Muslims, that means he's God. The Muslim, they pray, and their prayer will go to who? To Muhammad, not to Allah. If there is any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim want to have a comment about this? We go back to zero. Any Muslim want to finish the topic about why Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem? Which hadith is this? Let me show you. I will, I will pause the hadith for you, no problem. And by the way, this is Sahih. So the Muslim, they cannot play the game of weak and daif and, you know, the game of uh, shish kebab. Sahih, you see it? Let me give you the link. So you can save it. Any Muslim have a comment or he have a topic to open for us? Who is a Muslim when I call me to correct me? Anyone? Why I pray and my prayer submitted to Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? And Muhammad now is dead. Still Muslim, they believe that the prayer of Muslims are submitted to him. Why? How Muhammad can reveal the prayer of a billion Muslim every day? Any Muslim can explain to me? In order to do that, you have to be God. Correct, people? If I send you uh, 200 letters a day, you will not be able to, to, to review them. We are talking about 1.4, as they claim, billion Muslim praying to Muhammad now. How Muhammad, he can receive all their prayer. 
yet he is dead. Let us say he's alive. Let us say he, is, he never died yet. How a human being can review the prayer of 1.4 billion? Unless Muhammad is claiming to be God. You see, when a human being can do what God only can do, that means it's a human being claiming to be God. One of the reasons the Jews, they crucify Jesus, the major reason is because Jesus, he does things only God, he can do, or he say things only God, he can say. As an example, he forgives sin. Right? And nobody should forgive sin except God. Sheikh Asra Rashid to have debate with you. Yeah, he can. You want to call me now? Look like we have a Sheikh when I debate me. Hello? Yes, my friend. Hi, I want to know when you're going to get. Sorry? I, I, I wanted to know when you're going to get Muhammad Ijab or Ali Dawa, one of them on your show. Well, because... I'm, I'm here every day. As you see, they are not calling me what I can do. I'm interested to see the debate. You know what I mean? Why, well, you know, for me, they don't really, I mean, they are not really important, but I made a challenge for them because they claim to be a people who can debate. That's all. Otherwise, they are not really no one. They are just a bunch of kids. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing it. I want to see it. I, I want you, to I, I, it. you see, I, if you go and see my videos, I'm putting the name of Muhammad Hijab and yeah. Shamsi almost every day in the title of my video. Yeah. Why? To invite. Hoping, um, hoping uh, they will have the courage to do it, right? <laughs> So what I would do? I mean, I cannot chase them. <laughs> I understand. I know that. I know that you put their name in the title to invite them to. Yeah, what to I can do more. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe they will say, okay, you know what? This is a shame. This guy, he keep calling us for the last, <laughs> the last maybe 10 days. He keep putting our name in the top of his title of his broadcast and nobody of us is calling him. They never come over. But you know what? They don't even need see to. It. You see, they do not even need to come to my form here. They can yeah. do their own program in their own YouTube, and the same as anyone. I can call them. I will. I will be willing to call them. I will do my live podcast the same as we do now. I will be the one who call. I mean, how how easier we can make it more than this? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he can do his live broadcast. I can do my live broadcast. I am willing to call him. If he is, he don't want to call me. I will call. You know. I will, they, they, I, will, I, will, listen, I will handle myself and I will handle myself. They talk, they, they, especially Shamsi. Shamsi is the worst of all of it. My friend. He never has, oh, Shamsi, I'm going to expose you. Both. I'm going to expose you. He says it to everyone. This, Every single time he's a speaker's corner. I'm going to expose this, you. This, uh, I'm gonna expose I, I, don't, I don't think Shamsi. Know nothing. I don't think he have a high school. He doesn't know nothing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the same as Every day I'm going to expose you. But you know, who is going to one, expose you? One, wow. one of the reasons they don't debate me is me being known. Mm. You see, the Muslim, they are willing to debate you as long as they don't see anything they fear from you. That if they can accomplish something in this debate, they will come. They will not hesitate. You see, why hijab? He don't have a problem to fly all the way to. Uh, to us to, debate, debate to, debate. to talk to joe rogan but then he can't answer your call yeah but the the, 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 the answer for that he knew that this you understand is... what i mean remember he went to, all the way to America but to talk to joe rogan the the um ufc guy but then he all can't I... answer your phone call on all of them are the same on, um what's it called shabir ali Skype. shabir ali did the same all of them they do the same you see uh, the second they knew who are you, it's the same second they will run away and they will say we wouldn't debate you. And if victory for them is guaranteed, what they will lose if it's smashing one more name in their way. You know what I mean? Yeah, but who's Joe Rogan? Who is he? Who's that? Joe Rogan. John? Joe Rogan. Who is Joe Rogan? 
the the UFC guy. He does like talk shows on on YouTube. I don't know him really. I never heard. The guy that so literally he went on his show on, in America. Um, Muhammad Jab. He traveled all that way. Okay. To talk to that man, but he won't talk to you for free over Skype. Yeah, I don't know. Him. Over Wi-Fi. Do you understand what I mean? I don't really follow uh, videos of the uh, because I will learn nothing from it. But uh, I just watched the uh, some of the debate of. Uh, I did not even watch, you know, not even maybe twenty minutes of the whole thing. Uh, I, I I just uh, forward where Muhammad Hijab was talking most of it, and I used the video a little bit to refute uh, and and get Hijab busted by many stupid things he said. This yeah, debate, he said a lot. This of debate, this debate, this, this debate is a talking part, about is a, oh yeah. The debate. best part for me was when you said on the video that he um, said uh, Allah is not praying to Muhammad; he's praying yeah, for see, Muhammad. Yeah, see, he, and then you started to laugh. For me, that was when you see a Muslim, made me laugh. <laughs> my friend, when you see a Muslim after a debate, he make 10, 20 videos to explain a debate. It means he lost badly, you know, because if you want a debate, why you want to make a video about it? A Muslim, he called yeah. me, he said to me uh, that uh, there is a kid, his name is Akil, and you told, you said before that if a Muslim, he debate me and he start making tons of videos about the debate, it means he was not able to answer. So why you made a video about hijab? I said to him, I wasn't at the debate. <laughs> you know what I mean? I made a video about the debate because I don't have my chance to talk there. Yeah. The, the, what oh. I'm saying, if you are, if you were in the debate, why you don't say what you are saying now in the video during the debate? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why yeah. after the debate you have to make twenty videos to explain what happened in the debate? Exactly. You were yeah. in the debate. I wasn't at the debate. So they do a monologue. That's what they do. A speaker's corner. They have a debate. Do you know what they do? They have a debate, yeah. and then after the, they um, run away from the debate, they um, ask their guys to come to them, like uh, you know the the favorite channel. And say, look, look at me, come to me, come to me. Okay, so now I'm going to explain myself. Do you know what I mean? After they've made all their mistakes, they've been destroyed by the Christians, they'll go back and say, oh, yeah, look at me, yeah, 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 let me repair myself. Oh, okay, so all I've said, like Shamsi, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm saying now. All these Christians, they're stupid, blah, blah, blah. Do you understand, do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, my Christian. You see, that he always does like a monologue after the debate. He knows he, right. he made a mistake, so he wants to repair himself, and he's gonna make a video just just to talk about explain himself. Do you understand that? Just, yeah. And we all know he's wrong. He's talking rubbish. They don't even know. They don't even know what they are talking about. They have they have a stickers over. The, they have a they have the Bible. And they have a stickers they collected uh, like what they call bad things in the bible they have a stick in the top of every page in this page yeah. jesus said hate your family how jesus says love your enemy and he says they hate your enemy muhammad he said the same muhammad is trying to copy <laughs> jesus you know how the, the jesus the loving god he says uh, uh, the merciful god he says if your child he insulted you kill him you know muhammad yeah. muhammad he copied that he have it in the quran chapter 18 they don't know what they are talking about and this is why they want to get close to me they knew how to criticize but they do not know how to hold the ground with their uh, 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 attack they are just like a cat I, I i saw this guy with jacob jacob he was chasing him in the in the corner the speaking corner jacob he said after him you go after him hey shamsi i want to talk to you where are you shamsi and shamsi is moving like oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he <laughs> Hey Shamsi, you know they are waiting for you, Shamsi. I have a question for you, and the guy is, is, is sneaking like like a snake. <laughs> and then he claimed that he is an a lion in the in the uh, in the speaking. He's telling, yeah, he says he's a lion, but he's running away. <laughs> anyway, my friend, everybody here can make a, can make a judgment. You see, Muslims are will come to call me, and uh, here we go today. We have many Muslims call me, and they did their best. And people they make the judgment. Either the Christians they were right or the Muslim they were right. I mean, there we go. Who was a Muslim of them? He dared to have his Skype open every day. To be honest, I, I want a Muslim to call you because I find your show entertaining. It's like every night now. No, no, ask yourself. Oh, it was Why? every now and again. Now it's every night. I want to hear Christian Prince my friend versus Muslim because for me it's entertaining. It's the same rubbish every time. There is a question we need to ask ourselves. 
if Muslims are sure of their religion, why they don't dare to have an open line for anyone to ask question? I want to see yeah. this guy, if uh, as an example, Muhammad Hijab or Shamsi. He do like the same as I do, and he have a Skype open, and I will be the first to call him. Yeah. Do he dare to do so? Or Muhammad yeah. Hijab? Nobody wants to call Ali Dawa. It doesn't make any sense. Ali Dawa, the nurse, the nurse of yeah. Muhammad Hijab, you mean? Yeah. They are kids. Yeah. They are kids. You know, they, they, and right away after they finished the debate with David Wood, they, they made a video asking people to, to, to donate for them 50,000 pounds a month. Yeah. You know, obviously, yeah. it's, it's a, I mean, okay, you finish a debate and you think you are, you did a great job. Why are you asking for money right away? They will take money. advantage because Muslim, they thought they made victory. You know, yeah. so they are Muslim now, they are willing to debate us or they, they were to give us to us. So let us make a video. And they ask every Muslim, we want only, look how humble they are, only 500 people who give. You know what I think, I think, <clears throat> I think Islam is a scam. No, listen, is, listen, listen, listen. Money. A, guy, a guy, he is a speaker corner. Why he need 50,000 pound a month donation? What he will do with it? He start, he start saying, we need a studio. Studio for what? You're a speaker corner. Sorry. You 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 do what you do in the in the in the garden in the backyard. What studio? You want to buy a computer? You do not need all fifty thousand pound a month. No, those don't. guys they are guys. They are, it's, a, it's a great business. And you know when you ask the Muslim to donate for you, and you say only we need only five hundred, are you going to stop by with the five hundred, or you would take even if it's a thousand donation, ten thousand donation? 500 is an excuse to make everybody donate for you, but still it's a lot of money. Uh, Hijab, he made a video, was saying, and I have it in, you know, posted. He said that David Wood is like Islam because he's making a living of it. But yeah. the coward he himself, he have in the same video, a big sign says, so sponsor this video with 50 pound. Yeah. Yeah. How you are saying that guy is making living from attacking Islam and you are asking the Muslim to sponsor this video with 50 pounds? <laughs> exactly, yeah. You know? <laughs> you see, and why are you asking for 50 pounds? I mean, you don't accept one pound? <laughs> you know, in, in, in the Middle East, we say shahadum sharat, which means, you know, you know the, the bigger, the one who big for money? Yeah. He is a bigger, but he, he would conditions. I don't accept uh, less than 50 pounds. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, if you are asking people for donation, first of all, okay, people do donate, but you don't need to say, I accept from 50 and above. Yeah. Sponsor this video with 50. Why, why I need to sponsor this video with 50 pounds? Yeah, exactly. You know, why Why 50 pounds? What about 49? Is that okay? <laughs> it's stealing. It's called stealing, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's great. And the funny, he talked about David Wood, that he's making living from attacking Islam, isn't it you who's making living from well, he's making living and he's making not only living, also obviously, he's trying to be rich. You know, he's asking yeah. a lot of money. Like you see, uh, uh, people that donate for me, you can go and you will find somebody he donated a dollar. Okay, God bless him. Two dollars. But the thing is that okay. Islam is, 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 is pretty much a way people use to make money anyway. They don't join Islam because they feel like it's a spiritual thing, it's because they feel like it's a financial or economic and, and social so it's like if i join islam now i have my brothers around me i have enough people surrounding me to help me if i'm in a problem or i have people who can give me help when it comes to jobs for instance like if i don't have any money now and i'm jobless maybe they'll put me in a shop one of these arabic you know shops and i stand there i work for them i'm a black guy bro you, know, you understand what I mean? I love it, so, people, my friend. So, so if I imagine if I join his love now, that's that's the kind of thing they're doing, they're gonna try and you know what I mean push onto me. For me, it doesn't make any sense. It's not. I just think this is what they do because I I, I look around and I see every single day what they're doing. I see how they corrupt the the London area as well. Yeah, you I've know, seen it every single time in the evening. I go somewhere, I look. It's always some sort of Muslim guy, Muslim people. Every time in the evening, I look around, Muslim person, Muslim. 
Do like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I go to a Nigerian shop, bro. Yeah. And what do I see? The woman selling the food is Nigerian, but she's got some like Pakistani, Indian guy or whatever working with her. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fetching all the goods. So who's in charge then? It's not her, is it? Yeah. It's the the Muslims that are giving her the opportunity. And they're pushing their own people in there. Yeah. The scam is it started since Muhammad he became or he claimed to be a prophet. If you go to chapter nine, verse one or three, you will see Muhammad saying the following. Muhammad he claimed that if you pay him money, he is willing to pray in your behalf and he will purify you by the money you pay him. Read with me carefully. Take alms of their wealth, wherewith you must purify them and must make them grow and pray for them. You know, bad translation. Let's see the front translation. Yusuf Ali. Let's see. Read, guys. This is a translation of the Muslims. Of their goods, take alms, so that those mice purify and sanctify them and pray in their behalf, on their behalf. Question. Why, if you pay me, I will pray in your behalf? Any Muslim can explain? Imagine I say right now that if you give me money, I will pray in your behalf. Isn't it this is obvious this is a scam? Since when somebody can pray in behalf of somebody because he paid him money? And not only that, he claimed that if you pay Muhammad money, that money you pay is going to purify them and sanctify them. Mr. Prince, I just want to say, because it seems like some people are getting it wrong in the comments section. They're saying, look, there is one race, human race. Do you, know, do you understand? But mm -hmm. everybody keeps fighting that in the comment section. Like, um, of course, there's one race, human race. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. I'm not trying to act like, oh, I'm black. All of a sudden, no, I'm no, so I, special. No, I didn't Do you know what I mean? No, nothing wrong with saying I'm black. I'm right. Right. I don't no, understand no. why they're writing. Nothing it's wrong, wrong with saying I am black. You're black anyway. I mean, what's the I'm white. I'm white. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I, I know who I am. Yeah, this is not, this is not, a, not, not I don't want special treatment. You know what I mean? No. I don't care. No. We, we, this is who I am. Isn't it? The, the Lord, my friend, he said, you know them from their fruits, not from their names, not from their color, not from anything. From their fruits. Yeah. You know? I don't know why they're writing that in the comments. So there's one person was like, oh, yeah, there's only one race, human race. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, don't, don't be you sensitive. Don't be sensitive. Don't be sensitive. Anything. Don't, you know be, what I mean? don't be sensitive. I don't know. People are strange. People are strange. No, no. Don't be sensitive. It's okay. You know, people sometimes, and sometimes, you know, we say something, people, they can misunderstood what we are trying to say. It's okay. No, no, no problem. Anyway, yeah, oh, it's stupid. I like the way you say it. Yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, my friend, for calling. Let's, let's take some more calls from Muslims. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. I, of okay. course. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, my friend. For oh, I'll talk to you now. Take care. Bye. Bye. So, you Muslims believe that if Muhammad, we pay him money, he pray in our behalf and he purify us. How that can be? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I call us? We can change the topic, no problem. We are here with you. Okay, Doris, you can call. Any Muslim? Who is next? When Omar he said, My God, he agreed with me in three things, he got Muhammad busted. Truly, truly, he got Muhammad busted. Look like Muhammad, he don't have anything of his own. Anyone?
Look like you have a bad internet, my friend. Hello? Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm okay, CP. How about yourself? I'm all right. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I tried to call a couple times. It kept uh, dropping. I think maybe somebody, um, maybe you have too many people using the internet. Do you have a cable or you have, uh, you're using your data? Uh, no, it's, it's cable internet. Mm -hmm. But I am watching you uh, on the laptop and on a television set. So. All right, okay. So what do you want to share with us, my friend? Uh, a couple of things. Um, uh, I guess I'll start with the, the guy that just hung up. Uh, I think he took offense when people were saying that there's only one race, human race. Uh, I think we understood what he was saying. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, he's black, which in, <laughs> well, you guys, you know, you know I'm black, and mm -hmm. you can probably tell from my voice as well. You know, but there is a particular angle that Muslims take towards black people. Right, right. That we've discussed before, and I guess they do the same thing in, in Europe as well. I, I guess that's, that's what they They try to fool the black people, make them believe that Islam is, is perfect for the black people. <laughs> when, yeah. when, Which, when Islam is the, the most aggressive racist religion ever exists. Well, yeah, and, and there's literally lines in the Quran that uh, justify slavery and make it lawful for all Muslims through all time. Not only slavery. I mean, the the Quran speak clearly that judgment day, everybody bad will be turned black, and everybody uh, good will be turned white. Yeah. Yeah. So what more we want it to be? You know, I mean, okay, slavery. It might say okay, and. Uh, well, in the Old Testament, they used to have slaves, but you will notice that in the Old Testament, a slave can be possible to be a Hebrew man, a woman, oh, yeah. you know, it can be an African, it can be white. Oh, but, yeah, you know, and well, and again, slavery is really too general of a term because it, it matters what the elements, the rights and, and duties and restrictions of the slaves you have. Like in Brazil, they had slaves, but the slaves could marry and you couldn't sell slaves apart from their wives and husbands and such. Well, in the United States, you could do that. It's, it's vastly different. So really, to really understand slavery, like anything else, you can get into the details and you need slavery to know. Slavery is bad, whatever what it happened. Means. It's bad and ugly. <laughs> right. It's not right. However, we have somebody claim that everything in his book is written by God. Yeah. Everything is coming from God. And this God says to the people, to Muslims, you can take people who they are free and make them slaves. Not about you own slaves, this is what you do with them. You can go and capture them and make them slaves, and then you can abuse them and you can do whatever you want with them. You right. know, when, when the Jews, they, they have a war with, them, with their enemy and they capture women. The woman, she shave her head. For what purpose? And to, to mourn her, her lost level. No, no uh, simply, you see, the, the shaving first, the first thing the shaving would do will prevent the man from doing anything to the woman to look ugly. You know, I mean, the woman uh, without oh. her hair, she don't look really attractive. She lose a lot of her uh, beauty. Same time, that is will give her time to stay away from anyone, anything, until because she just got captured and she lost her family and they lost the war and she was a free yesterday today is a captive i mean imagine how much humiliating this thing so when they when they bring them home there is a special treatment for those people who they are captive of war they will not go and rape them and, and like i want a muslim to call me right now and show me where it says that we got a captive and we are we go and we take her to the bed and we rape her. Any Muslim want to show me? <laughs> no. You know? Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. But we, oh, can, yeah, we, we can show you where Muhammad, he took a captive after he killed her father, her brother, her husband, and he raped her less than a few hours after the rape happened, after, after the, the, the slavery happened. 
Right, it's a, com a completely different thing. Um, yeah, because, well, where I was going with, the idea is to create a buffer of time in between the time they're taken captive because they lost the war and the time that they began to marry to the population. And if a Jewish man saw a woman amongst the captives, he did have to marry her. Yeah. That's you know, it. It wasn't slavery. He had to take her as his it wife. Is, it is a wife. Yes. You know, the Bible, if yes. you go, if you go to the book of Deuteronomy, uh, to chapter twenty-one, I, I believe, um, it says clearly that how 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 you deal with them and how you marry a captive woman. You know. Right. Take her as his <clears> wife. It's a completely yeah. different thing from a slave. Yeah. Wife has all the rights and such. It says actually um, this. This is where it's speaking about shaving her hair. You know. Like you take the woman who is your captive, you bring her to her to your home, she shave her head, trim her nails, and uh, and put aside the clothes she was wearing and during the capture and after she live in your house, etc. Uh, for you, uh, some time, so which means she have to be treated as a wife, not as slave. Right, right, yeah, right. And you you don't have the the prostitutions and things like that that come with it, which you you see in Islam and you know you were talking about it yesterday with Umar and the captive women and the topics and all that kind of stuff. Yeah and actually um, actually it says it clearly in the Bible there that you must not sell her or treat her as a slave. That's it. Right. You know? <laughs> right, right. No and I, I don't know the guy's name that just hung up. But the idea is well the irony of it in today's time is that you try to bring Islam to people who are directly affected by slavery in the in the near past, you know, in the, the recent past. It, it it can only work in a state of ignorance that they just don't know, because this is not the type of thing that's buried deep in Hadith. You know, it's it's in the front. You you read it for a couple of days and it out, you know. You read Islam for a couple of days and it jumps out. It's in the early stuff, you know. But you see, the 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 point is the Muslim they do. They know they knew your pain as a black person, what what history you went through, you know. So they try to use your history to conquer you yeah. and to make you believe in the God of Islam. You will notice that Muslim when he speak to a white man, he would not say to him, "Oh, did you do what you do what you do about the black people?" He would never say that, you know. But yeah. when he speak to you as a black person, he would say, "Did you know what the Christian did to you, the white man, the the, the Christian white man?" Yeah, you know. But he will never say to a wh white man, "Did you remember what you did?" <laughs> no, yeah. Well, yeah. but because it's kind of like I don't know how much of a well, I guess it, it is a focused a focused approach that they have by now because just our virtual so many people. But to them, it's like Muhammad is like all things. Because they'll say to a woman, you know, Muhammad was a feminist. He brought women's rights and stuff, you know. <laughs> they'll say that too to a woman. And it's like they can completely discard what the Quran says, you know. There's actually a line in the Quran telling the man to beat his wife. I mean, it's there. But they just skip over it. Whatever angle they need to take to convert a person to Islam, that's what you know. That's what they'll take, you know, yeah. which is well. It's obviously it's not right. They try to uh, to speak to you in the in the let us say based on your background. What how, who are you? Like let's say yeah. you are a person like who's, a, politician. who's an atheist. <laughs> he's an atheist. So we try to do what they try to say to you. Quran have science. You know. Yeah. 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 So uh, it, it depend depend who are you. They try to fool you. If you are a woman, they will start saying Islam gave the women her right. Islam, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. treat the women like a jewelry. Uh, the women she is treated like a queen in Islam, but the but the story is totally different. So, the band, who are you? They speak to you, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, something the, else I wanted to comment. The agenda, uh, uh, the agenda changed. The band, the, who is the one they are speaking to? The religion itself changed. The band, you are talking to who? Right. Right. Uh, explanation so change of, of the same verse depends on you, who is the one we are talking to. Like, right, right. like today, the, the one who called me one after one. One, he said to me that the black stone is an act of worship. 
One, he said, in the same person, he said to me, when Omar, he said that this stone is useless. He said he's wrong. He's wrong. The other, the other one, he quote from you, Omar, saying that the black stone is useless. Try to prove me wrong. The other person, he tried to say to me that Omar was wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Depend the person who is trying to talk and his logic, which means the Muslims, they have no agreement about anything. And they are like a person... Uh, uh, they are in a ship and the ship suddenly they notice there is a hole in the middle of it and the water is coming and everybody swim in different direction they, right right they do not they, know they which need... direction will save them and so they speak against each other in the opposite direction right right they, they need something on the other side to, to pull them together so to speak so okay. they'll, you mentioned Jesus they'll all argue reflexively against Jesus <clears throat> but if you get them to talk about the Islamic texts and things like that to, to try to get into the books to determine who was Muhammad and what Islam actually teaches, then they're all over the place, you know. Um, you mentioned, um, actually, I don't want to get this. A girl called yesterday and she said that she had some Muslim friends that um, she would talk to and they were they were having problems understanding the Trinity and she called and asked you to explain it. Yeah. You know, I, I just I just wanted to say to her, they're yanking your chain it's not that hard to understand if they just don't want to you know they don't want to accept it but that they're just using that as a backdoor attack and she shouldn't spend should not spend all of her time trying to defend the trinity but rather ask them to try to to try to defend prophethood of muhammad or the eternalness the uncreatedness of the quran and they'll start to trip all over themselves but all this trinity talk that, it, that they're having such a hard time understanding the Trinity, that, that that's, that's you know, they're yanking her chain. That's bull. And she should not fall into that trap. <laughs> you know, yeah. she, she should listen to you more. <laughs> well, you know, it, <laughs> and now that. after I explain the Trinity, do they accept the Trinity? No. Now, no. the question is, why the Muslim don't question that Mary, she is a virgin and she gave birth? But they question the yeah. Trinity just because Muhammad he said that if Muhammad he put two words in the Quran say the Trinity is true, well, all the Muslim nobody will question it. That's right. As simple as that. Or if he had got the Trinity correctly, yeah. <laughs> which he didn't. You he know. did not even quote the, the Trinity correctly. We asked them who who are they, those Christians who believe in Mary and Jesus and Allah as God. We cannot find them. Yeah, but you know I just I just because her bit sound he sounded like a young girl, and I just didn't want. Her to be deceived, you know, thinking that that this is an honest criticism. That they're honestly having problems with this. No, they they don't believe it because they just believe in Muhammad. But it's not hard for them to understand it. You know, she should go on offense and ask them. You know, hey, the Quran. So is the Quran created or is it uncreated? You no, know, okay. Well, is it Allah? Or is it not Allah? Why? And they can explain, you know, go on offense because they're just trying to win over again a young girl. You know, she shouldn't fall for that trap. Um, well, I don't think she, she would fail in, the, in, in such a trap because she is uh, listening. I believe she is learning, and she, they will notice yeah. that Muslim. They have uh, the the the, the oppose of Muslims for to Christianity not because Christianity makes sense or does not make sense. Mm -hmm. It's simple that Muhammad he said and whatever Muhammad he said, that's it. You know, <laughs> yes, yeah, simple that, as that. As simple as that. You know, that doesn't yes, make sense yeah. that Jesus have no father. Why? Yeah. Why Muhammad have a father? Yeah. Why everybody have a father except Jesus? Explain to us, Muslims. They have no answer. Yeah. What the I point? Said, and and why in the case of Jesus is the one who made your mother pregnant not his father? Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> who is the one who who was my father? The one who made my mother pregnant. Okay. Who is the one who made Mary pregnant? Allah. So who is the father of Jesus? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just as simple as that. Now, every other person in the world, it's really that simple. The one who made your mother pregnant with you is your father. <laughs> not necessarily the one who married your mother, right? Not necessarily. No, not necessarily yeah. the one who married yeah. your mother. <laughs> the one, not necessarily the, the one who married your mother, the one who made her pregnant, as simple as that. So who is the one who made Mary pregnant, Muslims? Give us an answer. Even by the way, even this one, they, they have many, many stupid stories about it. As an example, interpretation, some Muslims believe that Allah, he, when he created Mary, 
he created a sperm inside her. So he sent Jibreel and he breathed into her vagina. It's not Allah who breathed, but the Quran says, I breathe, I know, I breathe, he breathed. So he breathed into her vagina, and then by doing that, he made her horny. And when he made her horny, the desire of the sperm moved, and the sperm moved and made her pregnant. Imagine. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. And so breathing into her vagina and making her horny, that doesn't count as sex. Right. It's not sex. <laughs> and the sperm <laughs> is not sex. And sperm, and, sp and, sp and every woman, she have a sperm inside her since she was created. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but wait a minute, but that would still count as Allah being the one that makes a mother pregnant. I mean, still, if, yeah. if he created her with the sperm, he created the sperm. Women are not normally born with sperm already inside of them, so all I did that, and then all I breathe into her again, <laughs> it didn't make her horny, so she get pregnant. Yeah, that's, that counts. Islam um, is, a, is a collection of stupid stories, like you, you. Yeah. It's like you are going in a field, and the field have many, many, uh, like it was uh, bombed by millions of bombs, and there's many holes in the ground. So you go out of a of a, of a hole, you jump inside the other hole next to it. You can't right, you right. can't walk in the flat flat uh, ground, the holes are all over. Yes, but 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 that's all you've got is holes. Yeah, I mean that there there's no solid ground. I mean, uh, I have to tell you, I learned it from you. If you ask Muslims, okay, what book do you stand on? What book do you trust? You know, they, they don't trust anything. <laughs> you know, they say, well. I don't I don't follow the Hadith. Okay, well, first of all, if you don't follow the Hadith, how can you follow the Quran? The same people that gave you the Hadith gave you the Quran. But then you ask them, okay, well, you don't follow the, you reject the Hadith and you follow the Quran. Okay, so the Quran says three prayer, prayers. Why do you do five? Can't explain that. You know, there was a, a guy that called you a couple of days ago going rounds over that. Okay. So you say, well, I only do the Sahih Hadith. So then you show them a Sahih Hadith, and then they say, "Well, I don't, you know, I don't accept that Hadith." You know, it, it's, and then if you ask him for what interpretation you want, well, he likes Ibn Kathir's interpretation for this verse, but he doesn't like Ibn Kathir for the next verse. There, there's nothing that they won't stand on anything like a Christian will how, stand how, on the Bible. <laughs> how how Islam is based on the Hadith and the Quran, but the Hadith at least is not totally, I mean, they don't even agree about which one is the authentic. No. So how we can stand in Islam anyway? How, how Islam can exist if if you are saying the only thing is preserved as the Quran, but Islam is, is based on, not in the Quran only, it's based on the Hadith and the Quran. So if yeah. we see, what is the percentage of Islam based on in, in, in uh, in following, is it in the hadith or in the Quran? You will see maybe more than 80 to 90 percent of Islam is based on the hadith. Yeah, so how, well, that, how, why Allah He preserved only 20 percent of the religion and He did not preserve the 80 percent? Yeah, well, and how can you know that the Quran is the Quran? Nobody without knows, the nobody knows. Yeah. Actually, no. it's very easy to know that the Quran cannot be from God, you know, like uh, you remember the hadith where it says the, 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 the verse in the Quran. Today I completed your religion for you. Yeah. Okay. How he completed the religion for them today, and if this is in chapter chapter in, in the beginning of the Quran, you know, and he, he, <laughs> he, he you know he did not finish the Quran. I mean this this verse in order to be, in order to be true, have to be the first, uh, uh, sorry the last verse in the Quran. It cannot be. Today I completed your religion for you. Accepted yeah. Islam as religion for you, okay? But this is in the beginning of the Quran. How this is can be from God? If you want to say to me that this is not how it was revealed, how you say to me that the Quran is preserved, but yet you say to me we Muslims we play with the Quran? You know what yeah. I mean? Even even the Muslims admit that the Quran today is not the way Allah He sent it. Who are you to change it? Yeah, well, and how do you know? I mean, even the the classical tale of the how the Quran was composed. Muhammad was dead. 
They got a bunch of Quranic material from everything written on paper, scratched on bones and rocks and stuff like that. But if Muhammad is not there to tell you this is verse one, that's verse two, that's verse three. Hold on, I think we have almost time. Sorry. Hold on. Go ahead. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Hello, Christian Prince. I hear you. Hi, right. this is uh, BC from Nigeria. Okay. I am not a Muslim. Oh, thank God. how sad. <laughs> but I was hoping that. <laughs> okay. I was hoping you can answer, you can talk on Surah 555. No, Surah 355. Okay. Where it says that um, Isa died, mm. but Muslims changed the translations to Gada. To what? To gather to, let me read it. Surah three. I, I know what you're talking about, but uh, I, I, I know. I know you know. You know everything in the Quran. Okay. <laughs> but I don't understand what you are saying in English. Okay. No, I was hoping you can comment on it if you have time. All right. Well, I don't know if Thank you, you. Okay. Um, if we if we go back, if you remember, just last week, we have a Muslim who called us and he says, "No, that Jesus he died." I don't know if anyone anyone remember which which day it was so that you can go and listen to it the muslim there he said no jesus he died because it says there that allah he made him he caused him to die now the muslim they say uh some muslim they try to be smart i suppose they say is it says it means he terminate his life he terminate his life okay how he terminate his life the word here in the mutawafika mutawafika uh which mean I will cause your death and when you try to be smart and you say to me he meant that he is going uh, to terminate life look at the translation here I am gathering thee what gathering thee like he, what he was in the ground like uh, seeds what do you mean gathering these is, uh, is, is Jesus many people how how we can gather Jesus I'm gathering thee Allah saying to Jesus I'm gathering thee what does that mean? Collecting him? First translation. If we click at the translation here, let's see uh, how this thing here work. Okay, let us see if we can highlight all the translations just to show you how much time they play with the translation. I'm, I'm going to use all the translation which is available in their software. I'm highlighting them. Okay. If you read all of them, look at this. Oh, Isa, I will keep you alive till, till full age. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Isa, I shall take your soul. What? I shall take your soul? <laughs> All right. Oh, Isa, or Jesus, I will take you to myself. Where is the verse says, uh, I will cause your death? It's gone. This guy, he took it all totally off. Isa, um, uh, verily shall I make you thee die. See, here, there's a different story. Every translation is different. The same sentence. Isa, verily I shall make you thee die. And I am lifting thee to myself. So this guy, he is trying to be more honest that Allah will cause Isa to die and then he will take him to heaven. Continue. O Isa, Jesus, I will take you and rise you to myself and clear of clear you of fraudulent statement. What is the, the statement of Jesus will, uh, you know, Mutawafi is gone. It's not in the, in, in the verse no more. This guy, Maududi. When Allah said, Oh Jesus, I will recall you and raise you to me. See, here we go. Another another fast translation. I will save you from your enemy. I raise you to myself. Save you from an enemy? What what? What is that? Where where, where is this guy? Where is this guy he came with this translation from? Oh Isa, I'm going to terminate the period of your, your stay. <laughs> hey Isa, you are fired. I'm going to terminate your contract on earth, okay? Your mission and contract, mission impossible, and I am going to terminate 
your contract. What a joke. If the Muslims are truthful, why the translation is far from each other? How come they don't even close to each other in the meaning? What terminate your period of stay? What is that? Is in a hotel? When Allah said, Oh Jesus, I'm gathering thee and causing thee to scan to me. Wow. Oh Jesus, indeed, I will take you and rise you to myself and purify you. Wow. Where is the death? It's not gone. I am terminating your life. This is the only one who is saying the truth. Do you see it? Oh Jesus, but he's using the word terminating. God said, Oh Jesus. I am terminating your life and rising you to me. Question. Why this Muslim, he have terminating your life, but the rest of you Muslims, translation, don't have it. Why Yusuf Ali don't have it? Somebody is lying. Why this guy don't have it? Sahih until. Where is the life? Where, the, the word life is gone. Where is the word death? What happened? All those translation. <clears throat> Look at this guy. I will terminate the period of your stay. What stay? In earth? Really? It says that? Where? I will save you from your enemy and raise you to myself. Why it says that? Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes, my friend. SCP. Hey. Um, I, I just wanted to you know make a contribution on uh, on surah 3 verse 55 okay so uh, uh, it's just amazing to see all those translations trying to avoid a very clear thing yeah you know when 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 allah says inni mutawafika wa ilayya i will cause you to die and i will bring you to myself so why, why are they avoiding the word? You know, it's just amazing. Gathering you, terminating your, your life. All those things, where are they found in the Arabic? You see, it's very, the in the, 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 yeah. Yeah. very simple. Yeah, the problem, if they, if they don't deceive the translation of this verse, then they would have a problem because that verse confirmed that the crucifixion of Jesus happened. You know, the death of Jesus yeah. happened, and th that would destroy all of Islam because Islam based on what? That the Muslim, all of them, they say that Jesus was taken up to heaven, and then he will come back at the end of the time, and then mm -hmm. he, and then he will die. You know that is very funny because if you say he was taken up and then he'll come to die, it means you are rearranging this verse because this verse says right. before. You, Right. Before I bring you, right. I will cause you to die. Right. See, now the Muslim they try to explain it. So they say the word mutawafika, tawafa in Arabic. You, you can ask anyone. The second you say tawafa mm -hmm. fulan, which means this person he died, passed away. That's it. He died. Okay. Yes. So they say to you, oh, here he means that he will take him in a sleep. <laughs> so uh, uh, when you are asleep, you are dead. You know? Uh, yeah. But this is not what the verse is saying in the mutawafika, you know? I never heard of somebody saying that you are, you are, you know, uh, we use the word mutawaffi to say somebody is dead. You know, I, I think they point to the verse in the Quran um, where, where Allah says that he's the one that causes you to die and then causes you to resurrect in the morning, you know, yeah. during sleep. But if generally, if you look at the way Allah has used the word, it, it means death. Uh, and, and that's why... The other verse that you were discussing, Surah Al Maida, verse 116 and 17. Oh, hold on. We have a Muslim. Hold on. Forgive me. Okay. Hold on. Hello? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> Let me call him. This is the same guy. Answer, Abdul. Answer. Oh, you... <laughs> yes, my friend. How are you? Give me, give me five minutes. I, I, I touched wrong, but give me five minutes. I'm busy. Okay. Are you still online in five minutes? Yeah, sure. I will be okay, online until until YouTube shuts us down. Shut up. Okay. Let me call you back, my friend. Sorry for hanging up on you. As long he is. Ah, oh, you are still on. Okay.
Sorry, uh, he called me, so I cannot hesitate to take to take a customer. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Now, I I also maybe just to make a confusion on uh, on chapter nine, mm. October verse uh, hundred and thirty. I mean verse thirty. Yeah. Um, Allah says, I don't know whether it's Allah speaking or Muhammad <laughs> speaking. He says that the Jews they say Uzair is the son of God. Yeah. And the Christians say the Messiah is the son of God. And then at the end of that verse, and that's something I wanted you to confirm to me on the Arabic part. He says, may Allah's curse be upon them or may Allah uh, destroy them. May God, now I'm wondering if it is, if, if the Quran is Allah's speech, if he is the one speaking, yeah, because if and Allah, he's saying, "May Allah if you, cast the okay, if you go, Christians and the Jews." Okay, if you, if who, you, if who, you who, who, to whom is he praying? To whom is he asking? Yeah. Which God does he want to cast the Jews and Christians? Right. Well, he is God. Yet the Quran is eternal. This is, this is it can be before found, we were created. Yeah, this is can be found all over the Quran. You will see that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, there's verses speaking about. May Allah. May mm -hmm. Allah. Now, how Allah is the one is talking, and yet He says me. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, that's that's because, very because, funny. It looks like somebody is speaking on behalf of Allah and begging Him. And for me, I was using this verse, uh, you know, to say that Allah prays, because it's clearly the Quran is not the words of Jibril, it's not the words of Muhammad, it's the words of Allah, according to what Muslims have always told us. So if it's Allah speaking, and then he's saying, may God destroy Christians and Jews. So it, that when you say may, it's a prayer. Yeah, it's a request. So it's upon, it's upon God to either destroy or curse the Christians or not. But at least he is making a prayer to God that God will destroy the Christians and the Jews. Yeah, you see, you see that actually in many places. In the, as an example, if you go to chapter seventeen, verse number seventy-nine, it says, "Asa, mm -hmm. Asa, and yabathaka Rabbuka maqaman mahmuda." May Allah, you know, uh, mm -hmm. give you a high place. May Allah. But who is the one who's talking? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so the most yeah. I always say to you, well, Allah here is saying to him, pray and ask, uh, you know, and, and pray harder so Allah may give you a high. But Allah, you know, Allah, He can confirm if you will have or not. Why He's saying may, maybe. <laughs> do Do He knew what Muhammad will be? Do He knew what Muhammad is going to be? Yeah. What maybe? If you go to any Islamic translation, if I change now. If you go to Yusuf Ali as an example, and I type the word maybe or may, <laughs> may, may, you will find that how the Quran is full of may. <laughs> and we, we, we will not take the one, uh, we will not take the one where it says, uh, like you may, to people, maybe you fear something or etc. We will talk about Allah. He is always saying may, you know, <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 look here and that I may complete my favor on you. Yes, that is five, three, you know, <laughs> this is no, this is uh, two, uh, two uh, 150. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what do you mean? I may complete my favor on you. Is it? I'm going to complete. Uh, is it completed, or maybe I will complete? What does that mean? Okay, and you may mm -hmm. be guided. Okay, what, what may? Uh, uh, so there's tons of places, or like when when the Quran speak about Allah, that it is He who created the earth and the heaven for you. Who is talking? Allah. Why Allah saying it is He? <laughs> no. And even swearing by by He, you know, when He says wa man wal unta. So he's, he's actually swearing by another one who created male and female. Yeah, I know. Allah is all knowledgeable anyway. Let us give a chance for the Muslim Abdul to call. Maybe we can find some 
Maybe we can find an Abdul. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, my brother. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Call me a uh, Muslim, the Muslim guy. Oh, we have this guy when I call. Oh, he is just trying to send text. <laughs> Any Abdul? Who is Abdul is going to give us a call? Anyone? The the Muslim who said he will call me in five minutes, please don't be late more than five minutes. Any Muslim? Let us give him a call. <laughs> Is it five minutes already? The guy, he said five minutes. This guy, he went for a few hours and he did some homework and he came with something. Let us see what he came with. Maybe he did sharp his teeth. This is the guy who could not answer us why his prophet was praying toward Jerusalem. Maybe he did some search in uh, in Google. You know? Any Muslim? All right, so like I receive a message from somebody, he is an, he's an ex-Muslim. That's wonderful. Good for you, my friend. Happy to hear you. If you feel you want to talk, you, know, you may call me, feel free. But I am live on air now. <clears throat> Islama, are you there? It's five minutes already. <laughs> Not answering now. Okay, he will call me right back. Maybe he is calling his friends Shamsi and Muhammad Hijab. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. Guys, invite your friends. Why we have only 600 people? What's wrong? Those who attend our program, Allah will provide them with a lot of versions. And the women, Allah will make them 70 times more pretty. Oh boy. Abdul, I'm waiting for this guy to call. He's they will call me. Let's see. Where we can find, okay. I advise you, my friend, uh, Nathan, you are asking me to get my book, Sex and Allah. You'll find tons of reference about those things. 
6 in Allah, version number, value number 1 and value number 2. You will have a lot of handy uh, resource. However, uh, <clears throat> If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. In chapter 55, verse number 74, in chapter 55, verse number 56, the Quran promised us that we will have women who their skin, the skin inside their vagina, which means Allah, he described the skin of their vagina, that is not going to be touched and nobody played with it. Read with me. Wherein both be those med medians, those are, you know, those are like sex, sex slaves. Allah created for you to be supposed to your wives. Restraining their gallants upon their husbands, whom no man or genie, yet muthahun, which mean, has opened their humans with sexual intercourse before them. Imagine, the God is describing for me what is inside the vagina of this woman who is going to be waiting for me in the heaven. I have a great news for you. The skin inside her vagina is brand new. No man touch or did intercourse with her vagina. No man, no genie, because Muslims believe that genie, they have sex with women too. All right. And Abdul. <clears throat> All right. Any Abdul wanna call us? Maybe, maybe. No way. Let me share with you this. Uh... An example of the Muslims lying when they translate their hadith. This hadith here, you will see, it says that Allah will ask the Muslims, what do you want me to give you more when you go to heaven? What else? What are you asking for? The Muslim, they will answer and they will say, hasn't though not brightened our faces? It doesn't say that. It says, didn't you made our faces whiter? What more we want? It doesn't say brighter. And those who speak Arabic, they can call me right now and I challenge anyone to say to me, I'm lying. Allah is asking the Muslims, what more I can do for you in heaven? And you say to, the, to him, didn't you make us whiter? Hmm? Any Muslim? You see how they lie? They say, you made our face bright. It doesn't say that. The Arabic in front of me. Alam to bayyada wujuhana. See it? It is in the black. This is why when you, you know, when you read Islamic translation, you need to be aware that Muslims, they fabricate translation always. Okay.
Any Muslim have a comment? And by the way, one of one of the funny things about Muslims when they go to heaven, uh, they will have no hair, and they will have eyeliner over their eyes. Why? I mean, how that can be? I mean, how ugly that is. The people of paradise will enter without body hair. Murd, actually murd, al-amrad, is the same as we say married. Married is like the like the genie, afrit. Afrit is a person who have no hair in his head, he have no eyebrows, he have no beard, he have no hair in his body. This is what amrad mean. Muhammad, he promised you when you go to heaven, you will be like a genie. And you will have kohl in your eyes. You will have eyeliners in your eyes. And you will be 30 years of age or 33 years, same as the age of Jesus. Who is a Muslim will tell me why Allah will not make me have hair in my body? What the problem? <clears throat> why I will not have eyebrows? Why I will not have mustache? Or a beard. Why? Any Muslim? What is the wisdom behind this? I mean, what? Uh, why the man will not look like a man no more? Because simply, what you are saying to me here, that in the heaven of Allah, all men they will look like a female. They will have eyeliner, and they will have no hair in their body. What is that we do? We make you pretty? Why eyeliner in the eyes? Any Muslim? Allah Allah is going to put eye um, like uh, eye makeup on us. Who is, who is going to do the eyeliner for me when I go to heaven? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim have something to say? Don't you find that this is something stupid? It sounds like a gay. Do you really a man? You as a man, you Muhammad, by the way, he used to put uh, eyeliner too. Muhammad in earth, not in heaven, he put eyeliner too. A Muslim, he might say to you, well, eyeliner can be used for somebody is sick. Okay, but that will be temporary. Yeah, in some traditions in the old days, <clears throat> they can use eyeliner to fight uh, what they call it in Arabic, uh, Ramad. I don't know what they call it in English. But Muhammad, he put it, uh, obviously, for decoration, to look pretty. And not only that, he promised even men in heaven, that there, there is no way you are in heaven and you are sick. All right. Now don't tell me they are in heaven and they have a problem with their eyes, so they need to put eyeliner. <clears throat> As an example, <coughs> Muhammad always speak about you getting pretty in heaven. There's a hadith where it says that in the heaven there is a market. And you go to the market, you see, remember the hadith about the market where you go and you find uh, images of women and men to have sex with them? You remember it, right? There is a different hadith about different market. Look like in this heaven, there's many malls. There's a mall for uh, sex magazine. You look at the pictures, you like the picture, you get inside the picture, you have sex with the picture. And there's other market. In this market, you go. And when you go in the market right away, there is a wind will come from the north. Wind will come from the north. And this wind, when it comes to you, it makes you more pretty. Anyone knows why? Every Friday, every Friday we go there 
Allah make us more pretty the wind from the north will come and we will get more pretty non-stop every Friday every Friday so every Friday the more you stay in the heaven you are getting more pretty <clears throat> Yeah, you can call, no problem. Any Muslim want to say anything? Is it true that in the heaven there is a mall? And this mall provides us with... Uh, Hello? Hey, Christian Prince. Hey, my friend, how are you? Quite well, enjoying your content as always. I had a quick question for you sure. uh, with respect to Quranic text criticism. Okay. I didn't know if you were familiar with the uh, Quran gateway or not, but... Um, gateway, you mean, you mean the gate to hell or to, uh, and, and heaven? <laughs> it's the first time that uh, textual variants in the Quran are going to be publicly available on the internet. Um, it's a project that's been in the works for a while. So far, the scholars have photographed 3,000 variants. Oh, this is a website you're saying. Okay. Th that's correct. And um, I'm one of the beta users, and it's it's fascinating. I mean, I'm looking now at, you know, Surah 11. So far, they've cataloged 398 variants with images. And I was wondering, how do you think Muslims are going to respond to this? I mean, for the first time publicly, you know, you're going to have <laughs> demonstrable proof that the Quran has not been perfectly preserved. I was wondering if you think their arguments are going to shift and how they will. If you can send me this project, the website would be good. So we can. Absolutely. It. I'll send it to you in Skype. Um, okay. But know that it is not public. And um, oh, okay. so they might as, as beta right? users, we. I, you, you know, can't show it publicly until it's released. So okay, it's under a, a peer review process right now and hopefully will be released within. Uh, the first couple of months of, of 2019 so okay don't send it to me then as long as it's not public i don't want to be responsible for releasing something is not mine <laughs> you know what i mean y yes sir absolutely yeah, it's all right yeah but you know i like um, um the more the more work you do studying islam and, and quran you will find that there's no quran exists what well, quran there's no quran the muslims mm -hmm. they say even the muslims they call the book they have between their hand Mus'haf Uthman. It's, right. It's not Quran. And Mus'haf Uthman, that's mean the pages of Uthman. It's not even a book. So, uh, uh, where is the Quran? They don't have it. Where is the Mus'haf of Uthman? They don't have it. If you open the Quran in page A, it's like it's 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 uh, like titled as A because it's not a number. You know, it's a letter A. It says there that this uh, Quran is according to recitation of, recitation of, reciting of. Okay. The second you say recitation of, it means there is no no book, correct? That's correct. Otherwise, why we say recitation? Mm -hmm. You know, they, they are they are concentrating in the recitation because they don't have a book. So this is a book according to recitation of Hafs, according to recitation of of, of Asim, according 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 until we arrive to Muhammad. So where is the book? And where is the book of Hafs? The one that the same guy you are saying to me you receive his Quran from, which is more than 200 years after Muhammad. Where is his book? They don't have it. Right. So on one hand, they claim to, to have authentic recitations. And on the other hand, they claim to have no, an authoritative written text that goes back to Uthman, which of course is, is not no, uh, the yeah. case. The, uh, uh, the, first of all, there's nobody can claim such a claim. It's a lie. And, yeah. and the same time, because science can prove, you know, you can, you, if you provide me a book right now, a scientist, they can prove what is the age of it. They do not need to be there. They can study the, let us say, the, the skin or the paper, which is, or the ink, which is written with, and then they will decide when this is, thing is, is done or made. Uh, so they can do that. Same time, the book itself proved that. It says, according to recitation, mm -hmm. recitation, not according to somebody who wrote something recitation so where is recitation is coming from the last recitation they have is hafs where is the book of hafs they don't have it hafs himself 
accused by Muslim to be a fraud. So how he is a fraud, and yet you take his recitation? Hmm. Muslims so, don't allow any hadith from Hafs to be accepted. It's rejected right away. Why? Because he's a fraud. How you reject his hadith, you accept his Quran. So what what is the source then of this perfect preservation of the textual Quran that, no, that is so prevalent in the West? No I mean, record, everybody everybody no, says it. So there is no preservation. It's a lie, big fat lie. Right. Where does what is the origin of that? Given their emphasis There's on no recitation. Oh, I know, uh, uh, like repeating the same lie. People, you keep saying we reserve, reserve. The most thing he will say to you today, I can bring you a, a kid from Pakistan. He is ten years old. He recite the whole Quran for you by heart. Right. Okay. Yeah. But you are reciting according to a guy. His name is Hafs. Right. <laughs> what is my guarantee that Hafs he gave you the correct recitation? Yeah. What if Hafs change a few words? Especially you must them say is that Hafs and his father, because Hafs, he learned the Quran from his father. Him and his father both are accused to be fraud. Yeah. By Muslims, not by Christians. Yeah. Hafs he learned the Quran recitation from his father Asim. Asim is not his father from. Like he's he's a stepfather, so as long as the Muslims they agree that both of them they are fraud, then how you can guarantee that this is the correct recitation? They say to you, the most accurate recitation between all the Muslims is the recitation of Hafs and Asim. Mm. How you can prove that? Do you have a book to compare? You know what I mean? Because yeah, in order to compare between what being what is written. And what is said, or let us say what is said, and what is what is it true? We have to have an original book. Where is the book? Hmm. Yeah, it exists in at, at best fragmentary manuscripts preserved in museums that Muslims have been told for years are actually complete Qurans and that they agree perfectly, you know, and that's There's that no... hasn't been subject to external scholarly inquiry, and it is now, and and so um yeah, we're going to have demonstrable proof soon publicly available. But uh, I, I know that the Muslims that I've talked to about it, and some of them have acknowledged variants, and so they'll just shift to, well, variants in the Quran don't matter because it's been perfectly preserved through memory, which is, of course, what you've been addressing. So it's just another claim that that can't be proven and can easily be falsified. You know, always but, when somebody, he claims something, uh, uh, they have to prove it. As an example, the Muslims, if you remember, when they found uh, a, a two pages manuscript uh, for the Quran in the University of Birmingham. Yes. This was yeah. a few years ago. Okay. The Muslims, they went so crazy and like, etc. Why? Because they have nothing. You know? And this one, actually, even this one is not the same as the Quran today. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, what is <laughs> why, okay, why oh, the, the Christians and Jews they have thousands of manuscripts, thousands. Right. Why the Muslim don't have what we have? You know, uh, when when the Muslim they were debating each time they debated. Say as an example, like this this kid he was debating David Wood. He said, the Book of John is written ninety five or ninety years after Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. When when the Quran you have today is written when? Yeah, over a period of several hundred years, it seems, no, eighth, uh, ninth, tenth century. It, it, uh, the, even that one is a copy, and there is no proof of the copy. Where the, he copied from? Where? You see, yeah. if let us say I found the Quran written uh, in the eight hundred years after Jesus, or let us mm -hmm. say nine hundred years, okay. Where this copy is coming from? I, I the one who copied it, copy from who? They don't know. How we can trust it? They don't know. And what if the copy is different from the copy you have? They don't know. There's the Quran of Sana'a is different from the Quran of Samarkand. Mm -hmm. You know, they found the Quran Absolutely. in Samarkand is different from the Quran of Sana'a. Okay, so what yeah. we will do now? Which yeah. one is the Quran? Which one is the one we need? We, we should take. You know? Yeah. Um, so there is no there is no source. And you know, for me, I don't debate about which version of the Quran is. I take it as it is today because I, you know, I don't want to waste my time. I will leave that for somebody. He want to, It's not a waste of time, let us say. But for me, I like to get Islam as it is busted because that's what they believe in. Right. You, you, know you can I mean? take the received text and do enough damage. You don't even have to go yeah, uh, beyond well, that. Yeah. In the text well, I versus. need to go <laughs> and study if it's there. And I was, you know, let us go to what you have. This is what you believe in. Okay. Let us see how, how good it is. Right. You know. Yeah. 
absolutely. But uh, uh, but is it uh, is the Quran today the Muslims they believe in? Is it can it can it be accepted to be from God? Absolutely not. Hmm. Let us say the Quran was preserved. I mean, uh, let, let, let us say assume it's still preserved. Okay, and what kind of Quran this Quran is? The Quran which preserves says the women have a sperm coming from her from her ribs, and the man he have a sperm coming from his backbone. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, yeah. we preserve the Quran, but it's full of fairy tale stories. So, the Quran is preserved or not? The same as when the Muslim they speak about the Trinity. You know, when Muslim he speak about the Trinity, they debate about it. They love to debate about this. If let us say, for the sake of argument, <clears throat> there was somebody he believed in one thousand God. One thousand God. You don't believe in one God. We Christian, we believe in one God. But we discover later that his one thousand God are a true God. So, what, what the one one God or ten God have to do with the truth? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Truth isn't determined by number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. Maybe there is. Okay. What if God is really not what one God? What if there is there is a, a million God? You know what I mean? <laughs> That will not change the fact. If the fact it is what it is, it is. That's it. So they focus in something silly, and I find it very silly because they think that this is the only strong point they have against Christianity. That we believe in one God. The Christian they believe in the Trinity, so they want to debate you only about the Trinity, not about the ethic of Muhammad, not about the ethic of the God of Islam, not about the stupidity of the teaching of the Quran, not about the contradiction. We let us focus in worshiping one God. There is a church, it's called the Church of Satan in San Francisco. They worship one God, his name is Satan. Wow. So is that is that God? So their their logic is naive. It's, a, it's like a child logic. They don't have the, the mentality, they don't have a high you know, IQ. Uh, uh, if somebody is a Hindu and he has four thousand gods, and later we discover that yes, his God is a true God. That's mean he's the winner. Hmm. It's mean those who believe in one God, they lost. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, talking about their IQ, I, I do view it like a filter. Muslims see everything through their Islamic filter, and it distorts their worldview. And it's, it's it's deeply ingrained, and it's it's very sad. Because, like like you alluded to, I mean, when you bring these things up to Muslims, if you bring up something controversial about Muhammad, their response is to criticize something from the Bible or something in Christian history. They have no idea how to defend their faith. They feel much more at home attacking Christians, and you know they'll bring the argument from preschool math one plus one plus one. You know how it goes. It's the same old thing, and they're very juvenile objections, but they think that they have something original and substantial. And um, it's it's sad, really. But yeah, um, I just wanted to kind of get your opinion on that. And obviously, being a, a native Arabic speaker, when this is released publicly, I'll send you a message, and I'm sure you'll have fun going through all of these erasures in the Quranic manuscripts and the textual variants. And, uh, you know, it, it reminds me when Shabir Ali would debate David Wood or James White, he would always say, well, you know, there's a textual variant. And uh, it, <laughs> it'll be interesting when Muslims want to quote various ayat from the Quran, we'll be able to say, actually, wait, there's a, a textual variant there. And they'll finally get uh, served back to them what they've enjoyed serving out to Christians for so many years. So, yeah, well. Uh, the Muslim they can defend their Quran as they wish, and it doesn't hurt me really uh, yeah. to have. Uh, hold on, we have a video here. Uh, to have a Quran is preserved. Actually, I wish and truly I wish the Quran is preserved because mm -hmm. that will help us more to expose Islam. As an example, you remember the story where uh, Aisha she said the goat ate the Quran and she absolutely ate, yeah, <laughs> uh, and, and ate that that the verses of ten adult breastfeeding. <laughs> I wish I wish the goat did not eat that one. You know, mm. like I, if, yeah. I, if I can if I can speak to the goat now, if I can feed her, I, I will volunteer to feed this goat <laughs> for the rest of her life. She took but just for the sake of leaving that verse on the Quran. I wish, <laughs> you know, I will give her I will give her one bedroom, free cable, free internet, <laughs> huh? free free yeah. zucchini and cucumber every day. That, that's comical. I've never thought about it like that. You know, I told a Muslim about that recently, and uh, his response was, where do you come up with this stuff? And I said, it's in your own sources. It's amazing how many Muslims don't know about this stuff that's that's in their uh, authentic narrations. But yeah, that's 
that's a, a unique way of looking at that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I wish the Quran were preserved. He said, Umar al-Khattab, he said, the Quran was a thousand, thousand, and twenty-five thousand that are. Okay. <laughs> what is left today? The Muslim, they say, I think it's 260, 270,000. That's mean mm -hmm. more than 80% of the Quran is gone. Yeah. So imagine we are well, we are exposing Islam with, with the 30 or 20% of it. It would be a lot nicer if we have the rest of the 80%. <laughs> Because you will find a lot of poopoo -poo more. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot of good stuff in that that 80 percent that dropped out for sure. Yeah. So <laughs> I I wish I wish time would come and we would discover more chapters in the Quran. Somebody would dig somewhere, will find the st more stupid things so we can love more. But what we have now is more than enough to prove to us that Islam cannot from cannot be from God. You know. Yeah. Yep. And you do a, a great job exposing that. So thanks for taking my call, CP. Thank you, my and, friend. Uh, Thank you. I uh, enjoy listening to you. Feel free almost to text me and update me with your project. Absolutely, will do. Okay, Take thank care. You. Thank God you. bless. Yeah, bye bye. Where is the guy? This is the Muslim guy when I call me. What happened to him? Did he take a nap? How can Jesus be God? Explain one YouTube video. You see how Jesus can be God? That's a good question. But how why God why Jesus cannot be God? If Jesus he was able to do what nobody can do except God, if Jesus never commits sin, if Jesus is perfect, if Jesus is what God is always be and was, why he cannot be God? Even the Quran described Jesus as someone who can do things nobody will. Name for me in the whole Quran someone he have power like Jesus. Muhammad he have zero. Muhammad he claim miracles nobody witness. Muhammad he prophesy of things that are stupid and they do not exist. Muhammad he claimed the moon split and the judgment day started but nothing happened. So when you say to me how you can show me that Jesus is God, well, how you, how he cannot be? The only uh, the the excuse the Muslims they have that Jesus was in the form of a human, but that can be debunked easy. Isn't it the spirit of Allah came to Mary as a human? They say to you, yeah, this is the angel Jibreel. Okay, when the angel Jibreel became a man, was he a man at that moment or he was an angel still? They say to you, he was an angel. That's wonderful. So how an angel can be angel and man in the same time? If this is impossible for Jesus to be God and man in the same time. You know what I mean, guys? If an angel who is a lot less power than God can do that, why God cannot do what an angel can do? Because in order to have such a power to be a man and to be an angel at the same time, that is something special. That is superpower, right? To be both in the same time. Are you saying to me that angel is more powerful than God? Okay, gamer, you can call me. Guys, you understand me? The Quran confirmed that Allah, he sent his spirit. The Muslim, they claim that this spirit is the angel Jibreel. Okay, wonderful, the angel Jibreel. The angel Jibreel came and he appeared to Mary as a perfect man. Was he a man at that time? Or a man and an angel? They say he's an angel and a man. So how come you don't have problem with it? Our spirit became a man and angel in the same time, which means spirit, angel, and man, three in one. Hmm? Chapter 19, verse number 17. And this is the interpretation of the Muslims.
All right. Funny, my friend. Here we find the hypocrisy. He appeared to her as a perfect man. Muhammad himself, he claimed that the angel Jibreel, he came to him as a perfect man. Was Jibreel an angel or a man at that time? Right? Was Jibreel an angel or just a man at that time? They say he's an angel. Okay. How he can be in two nature in the same time? The hypocrisy is amazing. They accepted that one being can be in two nature in the same time when they want and they reject when they want. Hello? Hello, my brother CP, how you doing? Hey, my friend. Um, they, I'm, not, I'm not a Muslim, sorry. I know you was Don't really be sorry, I'm, just, I'm just joking with, with people when they say, <laughs> don't be sorry, my friend. I'm, I'm happy for you. Go ahead. Um, first of all, um, I, I want to thank you for everything that you've been doing, exposing this abdos and everything. Right. And, um, you know, the environment, me, me myself, I'm living it, is infested with abdos. Like, whenever, this is my problem, right? Whenever you say something about Jesus being God, you're always, like, getting ready to, like, they just want to tear you open. I just didn't know. And then you ask them questions, they cannot give you the answers to well, you know, because a human being, when he tries to answer with his own logic, he fail. If they use the logic of their God, it's going to be horrible. So what they do, they try to go in denial stage, avoiding the question and the answer. That's true. You know, if, if, they, if the Muslims answer me based on their teaching, they will be in trouble. Here we go, as an example. Jesus cannot be God. Why? How God can be man and God in, in the same time? Okay, I will go with your logic. How Jibreel is a man. And an angel at the same and can time. be God, yeah. I think can be angel at the same time. Yeah, because if, if you refuse that this is can be that cannot be two two and one in the same time, like this guy was debating David Wood, he says to him, How I'm going to recognize who is who and who is he? Okay, here we go. We See, have an angel, his name is Jibreel. Watched, Which one is I he? I watched the debate. That debate was it was I don't know, but um, we should stop giving it to these people. While I say why I say that is because. You know, if they're like, we like sons of God, right? We are proud of it. They're not, they're not, they don't have, they don't have fathers. They're like fatherless. They're just trying to find whatever strange that can be given to them. Like, why do we want to pay them like mine? No, no, but we have, you see, you need to notice that there is people who they are weak in their belief and the Muslims, they can deceive them. So we have a duty to show people that those people are fake and they are fabricating answers. The answer is not there, you know? As That's long true, as, as yeah, somebody have, because there is people who they have no education, they might listen to a Muslim and think, okay, here we go, see what I think look like this guy is convincing to me, you know? So if nobody speak about AIDS, doesn't mean the AIDS is not there. It doesn't mean the AIDS killing people, right? That's true. If you don't speak about uh, fire and uh, like, uh, okay. Uh, and the other day there was a guy, uh, he wanted to paint, uh, under his uh, heater all right and he went and he grabbed the, the the spray the paint spray yeah and he came and he went to paint just under the heater. I said, what are you doing stop you know he said what he said what he said you will burn the whole house so what you're talking about you know you see you see what ignorance can do just a little mistake little mistake you yeah think, you think you have to turn the heater off this is this the the, the spray is is a flammable is crazy flammable you know, you will burn yourself, you'll burn the house. So little mistake can destroy you. And some people, not, not because they are bad, but because they are naive. They don't know. They don't know better. He thinks he's doing good, he ain't doing bad. Yeah. And the Muslims, they use you being naive or me being naive to take advantage of us. They always want to pray on that. That's for sure, CP, you're right. They always want to pray on that. Like, I, I, um. If, if, for example, right, if you want to use their logic against them, they're like really quick to go up in flames. They'll be like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's there in your box. It's not there. And then at the end of the day, you let us show, in, you let, you let us show in it to them. They'll be like, 
You don't know, like, really? You deny, they, they're just being in denial. They, they just want to like, they just want to like prey on like the, the, the people that they, they, they don't know about, like what they're talking about. Yeah, well, okay, like I was listening to you say, we are, are personally working with what they give to us. I don't know nothing about no Arabic, no nothing. But what you yeah, give to me is still not good. We can still use that. And then you can see the evidences, even though, the, even though they try to change it, even though they try to change it, you, see, you still see the evidences that what they're doing, it's not, it's not still working with us. I don't know, like you say something, CP, I've been following you for a whole long time now. You say something. When we read something, like when I'm reading that their book, that their sources, and I'm seeing things that I have to be like, oh, is this for real? I didn't really see this thing, they're ignoring it, or they just want to like care. They just want to like lie to the people, to their faces, and be like, this is theirs. And if you, if you can be bold enough and search it for real, you can never find something like, like that. And then I'll be like, if they can be bold enough to lie to people like that, what, what? Like what? What would they not do to to get people? I'm just at times I just feel frustrated. No, don't uh, see. Don't feel the the the, the most time they try actually to make you give up and to make you feel you are accomplishing nothing. You see, when I do my live podcast, like now I am here for almost seven hours. My voice is gone. You know, I did not eat since yesterday. But I know that people they will watch the video, and people are copying my videos. And people will see where is the truth. You know, you, you, uh, the same as the Bible says, you know, you put the seed, you don't put them in the rock, you put them in the right place. So always there is a right place for the seed to go and they will grow. But you don't know who is going to collect the seed and who is going to take care of it. So we do our part and we will never give up and we will never feel frustrated. Sometimes I feel like angry because I have to shout. I, you know, it's, it's a lot of, uh, I hear you a lot no. of times. I hear you. Maybe sometimes this might sound funny, but it's true. Most times I'll be on your on your live broadcast and I'll be listening. When you'll be yelling at it, I'll be, I'll be like, "Sippy, you don't know what you just like." Okay, because I can feel what you're going through at that moment. I've, I've been dealing with these people for like some time now, and then I feel to myself, I'll be yelling to my brother, "Brother Sippy, don't just just like just, just just drop the call because it's I don't know what you're talking about. They're still trying to lie to people." Or they don't know nothing about what you say, what, what you what you telling them. Instead of them like being open to themselves and be like, okay, I'm willing to to learn. They're not willing to do that. They will rather fight till the end. And then when there is no strength left left in them, they know that oh yeah, this was the thing that I was supposed to do. I know I'm gonna tell you something right now. Most of them they go back and be like, oh boy, I got screwed and I got spanked by the Christian prince. That I'm sure. This is why they call you know. They call back. It's Most like, of them like, they will be like. It's like they gambling. Just be like, Sorry, you can go ahead. It's like gambling. You know, when somebody do gambling, he lose. So he go back hoping he will get back what he lost, but he lose more. You know? But they have nothing to lose, CP. All we're trying to do is save their souls. Yeah. Well, That's what I keep telling them. No, no, but they, then, they, they, they feel they get humiliated. This is what I'm talking about. They feel get humiliated because they thought. It's not about humiliation. I keep yeah, telling them, you the same thing. Them, it's not them. about humiliation. For them, it is. It's all about for them to. I know they have. CP, they have nothing to stand upon. That's just it. They have nothing to stand upon. There is no foundation, and that's why they're trying to crack down the very foundation that me and you had because of that blow that was shed on the tree some two thousand years ago. They'd they, they, they be like, okay, if we can remove this foundation, they have nothing to stand, and we have nothing to stand, and they're just going to wave around, which is, it's not going to happen. Yeah, just be, be, be patient and, uh, you know, be a fisherman. The fisherman, he don't win, he don't know when he go in his boat, what he will come back with. He might come with the one fish, or he might come with uh, many. So just do what you need to do. You go to the sea, and you do your best. And that's what we do here. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Let us see if we can get some Abdul okay. calling us before we finish. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for taking my call. God bless, my friend. Take care. You too. What happened to this guy? He wanna call me. He sharp his teeth and he was ready. Looked like he. Muslims, I advise you to call me now because I'm really tired, honestly.
this is your best time to take advantage of me who want to do it i'm really now tired i'm hungry and this is the best time you can take advantage and he wants to want to do that i think will take you this time maybe 30 seconds to take me down because i'm really tired now and he wants to want to do that anyone hello answer your question what is your question sin I don't see your question type it again please I don't see your question. Let us go sleep. My friend, who is holding you from sleeping? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> That's a good one. Once I received a message from a lady. She was using the name of her husband. She said to me, I hate you. We are going to divorce because of you. Said, what, who are you? What are you talking about? She said, because of you, my husband, he sits in the front of the computer 14 hours. He don't even talk to us no more. So at that time, we are in Pal Talk. So I told the guy, I will give you maximum two hours to stay in my chat room. After that, I will throw you out myself. He said, don't listen to her. She complained. I really sat with him. I said, I don't care. Two hours maximum. After that, I will throw you out. And honest to God, after two hours, I, 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 I see his name come in. I watch him because his wife, she said, we're going to divorce because of you. I don't want that to happen to the poor guy. You know, <laughs> so after two hours, I bounce and boing, he's out. <laughs> yeah. Where is the Muslim now? Where is the guy when I call us? Hey, Jacob, how are you, my friend? So as you see, guys, here, the Muslims here always, they have a double standard. They don't have a problem. They don't have a problem that Allah himself, he have two shapes. Correct? You remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said that Allah, he will come to them in a shape other than the one which they knew? Okay, how you accept Allah to be two? Because if Allah have two shape, was it was that two Allah or one Allah? They will say one Allah. So how Allah can be two physical beings? Any Muslim can explain to us? Let me let me see. Let me get you the hadith so we can see it together. Maybe we can get Abdul encouraged to call us and explain to us what's wrong with this story here. There is something obviously something very wrong. Let me look for the hadith. <clears throat> All right. Hello. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Let me call him back. This is the Muslim guy. <coughs> Hello. Are you there, my friend? I don't know what's happening. Hello. Yes, you hear me, my friend? Yeah, can you? Go ahead. You, you, I don't know if you were listening to us. Did you listen to us? What we're talking about? Uh, no, no. Still me. Okay, we were talking about Allah, he have a shape. And Allah, he changed his shape. What do you think of that? Oh, I thought we were going to go back to um, what we were talking about earlier. No problem. But we can talk about this and we can go back to that earlier. No problem. Okay, okay. okay, okay. What's your question? What do you think about Allah changing his shape? 
change his shape. Hmm. Yeah, Allah could be what he wants. Okay, see, here we go. You see, guys, Allah, he can do whatever he wants. Okay, can Allah be a man? No, he can't, he can't. See? <laughs> no, no, why laughing? Why laughing? Okay, you, you just said Allah can be whatever he wants. The second I say to you, Allah, can Allah be a man? You said, no, no, no. Okay, anything that befits his majesty, or has put that in. What? What, what? Anything that, anything that befits his majesty. What fit? Does it fit Allah, his majesty, to have a foot? No, 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 no. The fit his majesty. Coming down as a man, becoming finite, becoming, mm. uh, reducing himself in a, reducing himself to time, okay. on a specific location, mm. is, that doesn't befit his majesty. You feel me? Who said so? Who said so? No, no, no. I'm telling you. No, no, you are telling me you, who who is the one who said to doesn't fit his majesty? What does that no, mean? Okay, no, no, read, no, no, okay, read, no, no, read, no, no, read with me the hadith. Read with me. Read. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I have, I have. Okay, I want you to confirm. I want you to confirm to me. Okay, are you saying if 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 Allah took the form of something, and that will not be in agreement with His Majesty, you Muslims will not accept Him. Becoming the form of a man goes against the rational mind. Okay. Logical mind, your okay. brain, your okay. brain, your intellect. Let us say, not necessarily a man. What if Allah He come to you in different form, but no, you don't, don't like it? Me. Don't try to trick me. Don't try to trick me. Why don't I, I want to trick you? I like to trick Muslims. Why not? I love to trick them. You're trying to corner us and say, "Yo, why did you do this? Oh, yo, God did this. Oh, why? I'm asking I'm you. I'm asking you. I want you an answer. Allah He no. cannot be only as a man, or He can be in other form. Can He come in other form? Oh. Can you? Can you? Can he be in another form or only the one as a, as a man he don't like? Okay, let me give you the criteria. He cannot restrict himself within time, within mm. the base within time. You see me? He cannot be finite <clears throat> at the same time, be infinite. He can't, he cannot be what? He can't, he can't be, be, can't be finite at the same time, be infinite. That's a contradictive of nature. His nature is contradictory. He cannot himself. be carnite, incarnate. What does that mean? Explain to me. Finite, finite, finite and infinite, infinite and finite. Can't be both of them together. Okay, so because uh, explain to me, please. Sense. My English is doesn't help me. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does that explain mean? to me what is that? What is that term you use? He cannot be this and that. What is this and what is that? Finite. What does that mean? Come on, man. Be stupid now. No, I do not know. I'm, I'm asking you. I want you to explain to me what does that mean so to understand you. Yes, limiting yourself. Finite. Okay. Uh, so if you is. if you are inside the physical is physical, but you are limited, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, guys, did he say that? If, <laughs> Allah, if Allah is inside the physical body, he is limited. Do you confirm that again? No, 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 you heard what I said to you. You see, after after two seconds, I just because I repeated what he said, he swallowed it again. Just, no, I never. I, never. I just repeated what he said. He swallowed it. He he, he don't want to. You just said that to me. Why you want why you want to swallow the words? Isn't it you who just said to me? If Allah is inside a, a physical being, he is limited. No, no, you heard what I said to you. Don't try to. Uh, so man, what I said to you, you heard what I said to you, let me repeat myself. I said to you, he cannot be finite and infinite at the same time. That's contradicting his nature. His okay. nature is contradicting Okay, himself. so if Allah is inside the physical being, he cannot be, what? Oh, you can't hear me. He cannot be what? Why, like, did you hear what I said to you again? Do you want me to repeat myself like a parrot again and again? You need to explain to me uh, because I don't want to misunderstood you. Okay, okay, Bismillah. Huh. I said to you, if God, let's, let me give you an example. Jesus, he said he became a man, correct? Okay, am I, am I correct? So what, what? Jesus became a man. Yeah, uh, not, not Jesus, Jesus became a man, Jesus is a man. No, no, he became a man. He, he's not a man in the beginning. Uh, God became a man, yes. So he became a man. No, 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 hmm. Jesus became a man. No, Jesus is a man. Yeah. Yeah, he became a man. No, God became a man. No, 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 no. Don't tell me no, no, no. This is my belief. Are you, are you going to make me say what you like me to say? No, no, no. The second person of the Trinity became man. Don't say God became my a man. Friend, my friend, my like... friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, don't do second Lying person. Out. There's nothing called the, there's nothing called the second person and third oh. person became a man. The, the, the word of God, this is what the Bible says. The word of God is God and the word became a man. Okay, that's the second person in Trinity. It, it is, this is how he appeared to us as a person. Yeah, that's a second person. Okay, Trinity. but but Jesus, but Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It is not the man became God; is God became a man. Yes, that's what I said to you. Jesus became a man, whether he was God at the God became a man, not Jesus became God. You're playing. Uh, okay, now we go back. You know, don't try to change topic. Allah no, no, is yeah. Allah is a, a affinity of Allah. What does that mean? 
What does that mean? Hello? Hello? My friend, if you want to call me, if you want to leave the microphone and stay away, at least apologize, say I have to go. You see, guys? God, he can be whatever he wish. Can God be a man? Suddenly he said no. God, he can be whatever he wish. You see how hypocrite they are? How a second ago you said to me, God, he can be whatever he wish. And then you said to me, it doesn't fit with his majesty. What will happen to his majesty? If he become a man, what does that mean? God will be insulted? His majesty? And what majesty? Stupidity is dangerous. Their God, he can be whatever he wish. Can he be a man? Right away, he said no. So your God cannot be God. We call God Almighty for He can do whatever He wish. When God, He is limited for what He can do, what He can be, then He is not God. Somebody might say to me, uh, can God be scenarios? If you want, He can. Why not? But this is against His, who is He? It's not about He cannot. This is not about He cannot. This is about he will not. Otherwise, committing sin is very easy. It's very easy to be a rapist. It's very easy to be a thief. It's very easy to be a hooker. But it's very hard to be a woman who work 10 hours a day to get the minimum page, well, pay, you know, wages to, to feed your children. Right? Always bad things is very easy. Not only, you know, I mean, for even us as a human. If you study, if you study all your life, I spend my life studying, what is my income? Nothing compared to what people who do bad things. Even to those even who work in, in maybe the one who work in Walmart, he make more money than me. Money, you know, the easiest money is the one who come from the wrong way. As simple as that. The more you are with God, the more life is hard on you. Especially if this is a, like it's something you do if daily, in your daily life. As simple as that. If a woman, she is 18 years old, she want to make real money, all what you need to do is just to take off her panty and you will see how the money come. A decent woman who work all day behind the cashier machine, dealing with all kind of crazy people to make $7 an hour, before she arrived home, she spent what she made in the whole day to feed her children. Now, can God be God in Islam? He cannot be God. You see, and you notice, did you notice he said, don't trick me? Did you notice he said, don't trick me? Do you know why? Because Muslims, they learn there's an article written about me. The Muslims, they make fake articles, by the way. Even there's articles supposedly written by a Christian guy against me, you know? So the Muslims, they fabricate a lot of articles. And in, in some articles, they say to them, the first thing you, you need to learn when you debate Christian prince, he would trick you. If he say the prophet is good, don't say yes. If he say, if he say he's bad, don't say no. Don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever you say, he will trick you. And this is why he's scared to answer. Don't trick me. Did you notice? He's terrified to answer because he knew whatever he say is going to be in trouble. Did you say that? The second I just said to him, did you say that? He said, no, 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 no. right away, he, he swallowed it. Did you just say, you just said that. 
that cannot, God cannot be limited inside the physical because that would be contradiction for being infinity or infinity. The second I said to him, did you say that? He got scared. He swallowed it back. Because he's terrified. Okay, what is coming next? What this guy here for me? Uh-oh, he's digging a hole. When a Muslim, he hear a Christian prince saying to him, are you sure? The Muslim, he starts shaking and breaking. Uh-oh, he just said the magical word for me. Are you sure? Did you say that? And now look, he hang up. He claimed that his internet is bad. The fact we hear him very well, he, we hear the sound. I don't believe that his internet is bad. Let me call him back. Let me see what happened. <clears throat> Hello. 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 All right, my friend. So let us go back to zero. Can Allah be inside the physical limited space? Can Allah be in limited? Um, I told you my criteria. No, I'm asking Here my it. friend. I am asking you a specific question. Can yeah. you give me a specific answer, please? Okay. Okay. Can Someone. he be inside a specific limited space? Yes or no? Can be in a specific limited space. Space. That's that's too uh, vague. That description is too vague. No, I'm saying to you, no. Well, it's no. not too big. It's not too big because as long yes, as it, as long it is can. limited, as long it's limited, it's mean it's limited regardless of the size. It can be limited in what? Limited in what? Limited in space. In space. What? space, in what space. You know what space? Time. Dimension. Dimension. Space and dimension. Because you are the one who mentioned to me the infinity. The infinite is infinite or not infinite? Okay. So yeah. can yeah. Allah be inside? A space which is limited, but it depends what space you're talking about. Can you just okay. can you stop? If there is, if there is a space that. for you, if there is a space for you, is accepted that Allah can be inside. Yeah, you just explain this off, and then I'll let you know if this you is see, possible. You keep saying to me, explain. I just explain. If there is a space in your imagination, in your knowledge, in your belief that Allah He can be inside, and that will not harm His Majesty. What is the space he can be inside? He hang up. See, yeah, internet is fine. He hang up. Unbelievable. Let me call him again. You see his internet. So your internet is working because this this is why. I don't want to answer because if he's not working, it's not going to ring. Somebody says to me that there's God, there's things he cannot do. That's false. That's false. God Almighty, he can do everything. This is why we call him Almighty. He is capable of doing anything. If you want to say to me, can God be evil? Can God be evil? This is not about he can or he cannot. This is against his nature. That's why he don't he don't he don't do evil. But it's not about he cannot. I can be evil. God cannot be evil. I can kill. I can harm. I can steal. I can. God don't do that. Not because he cannot do. But because this is against his nature, his ethic. He's a wonderful person. It's not about he cannot. God cannot lie. 
This is not about him. He cannot. That's because he, this is against his nature. It's not about he can or he cannot because anyone can tell a lie. You know what I mean? When we say God do not lie, that's because this is against his nature. He's always decent. All right? Yeah, you see, you are you are misquoting the, the Bible, my friend says that God, it's, it's impossible to God to lie, not because he cannot, that because his nature is the truth. He is the truth. So how are you expecting the truth to lie? Do you understand me, guys? If he is the truth, then how do you expect from the truth to generate lies? Isn't it Jesus said, I am the truth? The truth provides the truth only. But it's not about him, able or not able. This is not about the ability. This is about the nature. Yes, my friend. Hello. All right, we go back to zero. So can God be infinite and yet he's inside a space? Can he be infinite? Oh, no, no. Inf okay, so uh, if, if Allah cannot be inside a space, why Allah is a physical being then? No, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's not what I said to you. I said to you, let me, let me explain myself to you again. Hmm. He is not bound by time. On Ta the other hand, time? What no time? I'm not talking about time. Did I mention time to you? Yeah, that's my, that was my criteria. No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about time. I'm, I'm talking about physical space. Is Allah is inside the physical space. Physical space. Is Allah is inside the physical space. I did not mention the word no, time. No, I said no. I said no. I said no. No, he cannot be. Oh, no, you can't be. Okay, here we go. We have a hadith in front of us. Your prophet he said that Allah, your God, he will change his shape and he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you saw first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, how Allah, what shape Allah he have, and how he changed his shape. And when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. But with this, look what it says. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. Do you see it, my friend? Allah will come to them in a shape. And they will say, no doubt, you are our Lord. I don't understand your point here. You don't make a point. You are the one who said to me a second ago that Allah cannot be inside the physical shape, inside the physical being, inside the physical space. When 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 your prophet said that Allah he will come to you in a shape, shape is a shape. Where do you say it? Where do you say that? I can't see it. It's in front of you in the screen. Allah will come to them in the shape. Huh? It's not there. What do you mean not there? Guys, do you oh sorry, let me see it in screen. Sorry, the screen is not on. It's my mistake. Okay, here we go. I highlight it for you. Allah will yeah. come to them in a shape. They, not there. Not, okay. Okay. They, they, yeah, no. they knew yeah, and will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, no doubt you are our Lord. So Allah have a shape. So? so at least come in shape. You, okay. Now, this is not a question. You said to me that Allah cannot be inside a physical shape. Uh, see what you do now. You, 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 you're doing gymnastic on words now. Hmm. Okay. Let me tell you what I said to you. Hmm. I said to you cannot be bound. Limited, limited, limited. What do you mean by limited? Mm. When your, when your Lord, when your uh, supposed alleged God, which is not a God to me, mm. came down mm. as a human being, he became limited within time. He was banned by time and a specific location. Mm -hmm. right. That does not befit the creator, the majesty of the heavens and the earth. You cannot be banned by time like us humans. We're the creation. We are banned by time, not him. You see my point I'm trying to make to you. You, on the other hand, bought me something that says, Allah will come to them in a shape they know and will say, I am your Lord. Okay. Is Allah, the head, is, Allah is, inside, is Allah is inside that shape or he's outside the shape? No, no. How does this correlate with what I asked you? What? Is How Allah, does this correlate with what I asked you? I'm asking you, is Allah is inside that shape or he's outside the shape? He says Allah will come to them in a shape they know and will say. So he will come in a shape they will know and they will say, I am your Lord. So what is this? How is this? Okay, Allah is where, where Allah is located now. Is he inside that shape or he is outside the shape? I mean, my question is very simple. Even a child in the age of nine, he knew what I'm saying. 
is he inside yeah, that shape or he's outside that shape this, this, the word shape has a the shape meaning. whatever that okay. shape is whatever it's a shape your prophet he said the shape so we have to respect your prophet well your prophet he said it's a shape so is he inside that shape or he's outside the shape uh, I don't know he says he will come to them in a shape they will know so wherever the creator is we don't know we say lace community shape you cannot comprehend him mm. so wherever he is he comes to them in a shape if you mean okay. that is a necessity Okay. That is bound by time. So, so the shape of Allah, it. whatever it is, you are going to accept it. Is that what you are saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's different to yours. So there is but no way, you, there is no way you will reject Allah if He is a shape you don't like. Maybe He came in the shape of a man. You will not reject Him if He came to you in the shape of a man. No, He won't. He won't. He, won't. he will not do that. So Allah always will come to you in a shape which you like, and it's okay. So no, I'll tell you why He won't do it because He denied. Okay, let me. Because it's what? Because he's because he's what? Because he's what? Calm down. Calm down. I'll bring you the verse why He cannot come in the shape of a man. Hmm. Okay. Let me just show you what he says about Jesus being God, being a man. Mm. Where's the where's the ayah that says, you know, "How can God? How can Jesus be God? Uh, Allah, He is food." Down. You mean how, how how Allah can have a son if you have a, you don't have a girlfriend? Is that the no, one? No, no, how, no, no, don't, 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 don't. I said to you, how can Jesus be God if he eats food? Allah says that in the Quran. Oh, like, because he eats food. So, the, but but idols don't eat food too. Pagans, idols don't eat food. Does that mean they are God? No, no, no. You claim him to be the creator. No, no. Hold on, hold on. Because he don't yeah. eat food, that means he's God, right? But is it, is it in the Quran? Okay, okay, no problem. You see, you are trying to get out of my topic about eating food. Because if Jesus will, oh. if Jesus eat food, and then he should be like me and you, and should not be resurrect people from death. He should not be alive until now. He should not be healing the leper. He should not making the blind see. He should not be able to walk in water. He should not be controlled the nature. He should not be able to do things nobody can do. Here we go. This what this what man who eat and drink do, only. But Jesus, he can do what nobody can do. So you concentrate only in Jesus. This is what you see in Jesus, only that he can eat food? No, listen. Uh -huh. The shape yeah. of Allah, the shape of Allah. You said yeah. to me, Allah cannot be inside the physical space. Allah now here is inside the shape, right? Okay, what's going on? I found it. Right. Hmm. Okay, let me إنما المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وكلمته ألقاها إلى مريم وروح منه آمنه بالله ورسوله ولا تقولوا ثلاثة أنتم خير لكم إنما إنما الله إله واحد سبحانه أنه يكون له كيف سيكون صلى الله عليه وسلم سنة ماري وصبع مسجد الله and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul created at a command from him so he is not it says it says there that is a soul a soul is it's a soul created from him it says there the word created. Back it, yeah. it says there the words uh, the soul created from him, or you are adding things up. No, it's in the brackets. I can show you. It's, uh, it's where? It's where? It's where? It's in the brackets. In the brackets, ah, so there's a lie. It's not doesn't say that. So this is the yeah, fabrication. Thank you very much. Now we go back to we go back to zero. I want to say thank you for quoting for me this chapter in the Quran, chapter four, verse one seventy one, because this is the same verse proving to us that Jesus is God. And we will go back to do to that. You, you will say, oh, no, 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 no. We will go there. But let us finish this one. All what you are trying to do, you are trying to escape the problem that your God Allah is coming to you in a shape. And you are saying to me that the shape of Allah always is going to be holy. Correct. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and Allah will not come in a shape which which which, which is not accepted. Is that correct? Yeah. Allah will yeah. not be in a shape, any shape you Muslims don't accept. No, no, no. Do you say that? Yeah. Let me read that again. Okay, Allah will not be in any shape which is not fit with His Majesty to the point you Muslims will reject. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. Okay, what you will say is that tell me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, make it clear for me. Allah, when He come in a shape. Do he come in a shape fit with his majesty? Yes or no? No, they, he comes in a shape that people recognize. Okay, sheep recognize. Does it fit with his majesty or doesn't fit with his majesty? Yeah, obviously, it fits his majesty. It's fit with his majesty, which means there's no way you Muslims will not accept his shape because if you don't accept it, it means it does not fit with his majesty. 
you're confusing yourself. Again. You see, you are trying to escape away because I'm, I'm, because you're because you are terrified and you are scared to answer. No, Allah, Allah come to you in a shape. Is that shape? Is that shape? Is that shape? Is that shape? Uh, Always fit with the majesty of Allah, which will make you accept Him. No. 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 Yes. Yes, okay. So you are confirming to me because maybe later you will say I did not say that. You are confirming to me that Allah will never come to the Muslims in a shape which they will not accept. The Muslims will not accept. No, 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 you didn't say that. A shape that we will recognize. This is another question. This is another question. The shape which you will recognize is that the shape of Allah or it's not the shape of Allah? Okay. If the shape, if somebody come to you in a shape you don't recognize, are you going to reject him? Because he is Allah, or because the shape is not true. Oh, you can't. You can't reject. He says that we will recognize him. This is a prophecy. You cannot reject the shape of Allah, correct? Correct. Okay. So as long as it's Allah, it doesn't matter what his shape is going to be. You accept, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Correct. Thank you, guys. Be my witness. He said that. So what we learn yeah. from you that as long as it is Allah himself, it, even if the shape is not the way you want it to be or you expect it to be, you will accept it no, no, where it is. Me. You see, that's why that's, that's your trickery coming again. It says they know and they, they recognize it. But why, why did you just lie to me? I, I said that. Okay, so you rec how you can recognize the shape of Allah if you never saw Allah? See, the prophecy. So you, you what know prophecy? Those. Okay, describe for me Allah. As long as you just said, they, they were everybody heard you. They will recognize the shape of Allah. Do you know the shape of Allah? No, this is a prophecy that through the whole friend. There's another question. There's another question. I know it's a prophecy, but in order to this prophecy to prefer, to, to uh, uh, fulfill your prophet already, he died, which means there's no more information to come. Did your prophet told you? Did he told you how the shape of Allah looked like? I don't, I don't see. Uh, in, after, in the afterlife, my friend. This is another question. This is another question. This is not that question. If your prophet already is dead and he told you his message and it's gone, if there's any more prophet to come and tell you about Allah, uh -huh. there's more prophet to come and tell you about Allah, or that's it. Muhammad is the last prophet. Uh, Jesus is coming back. This is another question. Is there is any prophet will come and tell you about Allah's shape? No. Okay. So how you will recognize the shape of Allah, which you recognize in the judgment day, if you do not know how he looked like? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. I hear you. Actually, oh, the voice is better now. Give me two okay. seconds. Hmm. So, how you recognize the shape of Allah? What is your criteria to recognize the shape of Allah? Is that the fingers, the foot? What? Yeah, go. Hold on, guys. I need a minute. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. He did not call back, huh? Let me call him back. I don't think he will answer. Yeah, I think he's gone. Oh, he's here. Hello? Wow. Okay. So my friend, my, so my friend, uh, so Allah, yeah. Allah, you said to us, there's no way Allah will come in a shape which you will not be able to recognize, correct? Uh, okay, according to the hadith. Hmm. Huh? So, no, no, I'm asking you, there's no way Allah, yeah. because you said okay. Allah, your prophet, he made a prophecy that you will recognize him, correct? No, 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 one second, let's read the hadith. It says Allah will come to them hmm. in a shape they know. So... Allah will come to the believers and okay. in the shape they know. Hmm. So this is a prophecy about us knowing the shape of Allah. How you know so the shape of Allah? What do you mean? How do you know the shape? Well, obviously, we recognize him. He's the creator. How, how, how? What is the shape of Allah? Because once we see him, obviously, we can recognize he's the creator. Okay, but he's, he's coming in a shape. So there's no way you are going to be confused that this is him or not. Right away, when you see it, you will accept. Obviously, he's not famous. He doesn't look like us. Okay. So this is mean that Allah, he will come to you in a shape and the second you see him, you will be able to recognize him. You will not have a doubt. It's about him. It's him or not. Obviously, obviously. obviously. Come on. Okay, you confirm that. Can you confirm that to me for three times? Uh, I'm telling you right now, you will recognize him. Yes. Okay, so you confirm to me there is no way, there is no way, there is no way that you, when you see Allah, okay. you will not recognize him. No way. No way. Yeah. Okay, no way. Why, why yeah. is that? Why, why you are sure? Because he doesn't, he, okay, let me give you another idea. Mm. In the time of uh, judgment, we mm. come there mm. and we're all lined up and there's a creator there. Once mm. we see the creator, we will know this is the creator because it's not different from us. He's different from us. He doesn't look like us. Mm. So when we look around, we all look the same. And once we look, when we look at that shape you're talking about, mm. we will be able to differentiate mm. ourselves from the creator. So it's impossible. Otherwise, so it's impossible for you that Allah will come to you in a shape you don't, Recognize that it must be a shape you recognize always. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, you, I, you see, I, I I understand what you are saying, and you said there's no way, and you confirmed that three times, which oh, is oh, enough for me. Quickly, but now I'm yeah, asking yeah. you, but how you will know his shape? Uh so how he the question is how and why you need to stop these questions. It's okay, I have a surprise for you. In the same hadith, it says that Allah come to you before He come to you in that shape. If you go a little bit, a few lines. It says, Allah, he come to them in a shape, and the Muslims, they say to him, we seek refuge from you, from, uh, from you by Allah, uh -huh. and they consider him shaitan. Mm -hmm. Allah will come to them in a shape yes, other than they knew, and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Do you see it? No, thank you. And you are the one who said to me, there is no way no way and i made you say that a three time and you confirmed that to me that because allah is a glorious amazing there is no way you will not recognize his shape so how the muslims were not able to recognize the shape of allah here what's wrong okay okay so i can't see this what are you talking about it's in the front of you okay yeah, i don't know This is two different. This is two different things. This is two different things. No, it's not different thing. It's a no, shape. It's a shape. It's a shape. You see, you got busted. It's a shape. No, Allah is coming in a shape. Allah is Allah is Allah is coming in a shape here or not? Is Allah coming in a shape or not? Yeah. Okay, he's coming in a shape. What the Muslims would do? They will reject him. They will reject the shape. And you are the one who confronted me that there's no way. Calm down. Okay, I'm I'm coming down. I'm you know you are the everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. It's recorded. That's your that's your end. Entourage, they can laugh. No, you are the one who said that, and not me. I asked you three times. You confirmed to me that there's no way Allah will not be recognized because his shape is glorious. Yes, I told you. Okay, so what is the shape Allah? Okay, so now no problem. No problem. What is the shape Allah now is coming with which you Muslims will not recognize? Let me explain myself. Let me explain. No, no, no. I will re illiterate what I said to you. So everyone can hear what I said to you. I will not even backtrack. I said to you, I gave you an analogy. 
I said, we're all in the day of judgment. The believers, the non-believers. We look at each other, we all know with the creation. But once we look at the creator, we'll be able to differentiate ourselves from him. You did not say that or not. What's so wrong about that? What's wrong with that? You say to me so that the shape. Said, you know, no, what's, wrong, what's wrong with that? You, you, you asked me to. Uh, did, did you say something to me? Should no, I say to you? Why are you asking down. me to calm down? Are we fighting? Hold on, hold on. Don't you want me to answer you? You said something to me. Shouldn't I answer you? No, no, you said I got busted in terms of Unbelievable. Said, oh, My friend, oh. you are the one who confirmed that there is no way Allah will come to us in a shape which we will reject. And I asked you that at three times, and you confirmed that at three times. Now yeah, you see in the front of you. Okay, now let us let us go. You get busted. Everybody's laughing now. No, 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 why no. why you will reject the shape of Allah? What's wrong with this shape? No, no, calm down, calm down. What's wrong with this shape? What's wrong with this shape? No, no, no. You, you said I got busted. I'm saying I never got busted. So let okay, me well, why. people will judge. No problem. No, they can judge. They offend. No also. problem. Okay. Now, why Allah a shape the Allah of Allah is coming to you with this shape? You Muslims will reject him, and you consider him shaitan. Uh, Oh, can you show me? Can you give me the book of the hadith? And then, uh, whatever. You see, a second ago, you never asked about the hadith number, but now, because things is getting getting really bad for you, here we go. This, is Sahih, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is authentic. Hadith number 6573. Can you scroll up as well? So I can read the context. So you just, you just highlight. Yeah, no problem. Context. No problem. Here we go. Here we go. Let us go. No problem. And after this, I have to ask you a question as well. I want to ask yeah. you a question. No problem, no problem. Here we go. The, the the people, they ask Muhammad, can we see Allah? Can we see Allah? They are talking about seeing Allah literally. He said, well, and you're talking about day of resurrection. He said, yes, you are not going to have a hard time to see him the same as you look at the moon and the, moon and the sun. And then here, he is talking about, he's telling them a prophecy, as you said, that Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know. And then the Muslims will say to him, we seek refuge from thee by Allah, which means they consider him shaitan. You confirm to me that there is no way the Muslims will not be able to recognize the shape of Allah because his shape is holy. Obviously, you're going, you're going too fast. Obviously, the shape is very ugly to the point Muslims... No, you're, going fast. you're going too fast. Too fast in what? I know already. You just skip it. Oh, okay, let me, give you, let me give you the link. Let me give you the link. You can read it in your own. Hold on. Go. Here we go. This is the link. Uh -huh. Today I will show you how you are busted. busted. Let us see. Allah. Already we are busted. God. Already, my friend. And I will, and I will, and I will prove to you Jesus is not God, right, and the right. Bible is correct. Okay. Yeah, right. You know, you, you proved to me Jesus is God from the verse you quote me from chapter four, verse one seventy. No, I never, I never. You will find okay, out. Okay, I, okay, I will show you. I will show you. Okay, I will show you. Now read for me. Allah turned to be the devil. Oh, this is long, long, long hadith. It doesn't matter. It's going to take you a few minutes to read it. Who cares? Some people say, oh, that's... <laughs> Obviously, Allah is the devil. No, 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 no. no your book is the devil, not us. Okay, let us see. Crowd, excuse me. So he says, whoever used to worship that thing, they will follow it. So anyone who worship the moon, the sun, they will follow it. So anyone who worship the false deities, they will follow them, mm. including the hypocrites. Allah will come in the shape of the Ah, I caught you. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. Abdul is laughing. Wait, wait, hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> mm. Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay, go on. Speak your juries. We are listening. <laughs> so basically, the context of this verse is talking to the non-believers, it's talking to the people, the pagans, it's talking to you basically, the mm -hmm. people that worship the sun, the moon, and they they will be basically, you know, they, they will, Allah will show them how false, and Allah will come to them in a shape that they don't know, and they say, this is your, our Lord, like they took the sun as the Lord, they took the moon as the Lord. That's the context of this verse. My friend, so, you are the most stupid Muslim ever I saw all my life. Read, uh, yeah, with me, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. You are a certified donkey. Sorry to say so. Uh, you to listen, listen, care. listen. You see, you see, it is the one who is saying that is Muslims because they say to them, I am your Lord. They say, We seek refuge by Allah from no, thee. No, no. Yeah, no, no. The You're Christian, stupid. they will say, We seek refuge by Allah from thee. Uh -huh. Are no, you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? The Christian, the Christian, the Christian, they will say, We seek refuge from Allah by thee. 
Uh-huh. Or the Muslim will say that. No, no, you, you, so calm down, calm down. You're insulting now. Let me, let me tell you what I said. I'm not insulting. You are the one who insult me. You call me pagan. You call me worshiping the sun and the moon and the blah, 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 false god, kuffar. You call me the, the, you call me the names. And now when I say to you what you need to deserve, who, what, how you come to the conclusion that when Allah here, he come in the shape, he is coming to the non-believers. Why you are a liar? Where it says that? Where it says that? And you're not used ad hominem, say donkey and all of this. We so seek down. refuge from Allah from you. Who is the one saying that? Huh? The Christians saying that or the Muslims? Oh, you cast speech and say, then he says, uh, so you see my day with the and Allah. Whoever used to worship anything that follow that thing, so he used to worship the sun, will follow it. And he used to worship the moon, will follow it. And he used to worship false deities, will follow them. And then only this nation, i.e., Muslims, will remain, including them. Including, <laughs> including the hypocrites, Allah will come to me in the shape of them. They know, and will say, I am the Lord. They will say, We see prayer for you, this uh, place till our Lord comes to us. And when Allah comes to you, we see recognize it. Then Allah will come to me and say, they, they know, and will say, I am the Lord. They will say, No, that they are the Lord. And they will follow him. Then a bridge will be laid, and the, uh, the invitation mm. and over that bridge, mm. there will be hooks. Yes, that's all Allah's message. Right? Mm. The hooks of that bridge will be like pawns of Asadan. Mm. I said that the faith was in the size only known about these hooks will smash the people according to these. Some people will be leaving because they eat the deal that will be cut into these and fold into us. Mm. Are you, are you done? Now, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get to that position. Mm. It's it, in it, front of you. It says, i.e., the Muslim, it will remain including their hypocrites. So this is about you, Muslims. This is about you, Muslims. This is about the Muslims. Muslims who they are truly believers and Muslims who they are hypocrites, Allah will come to them. And he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Aha, uh -huh, now I got it. Aha, okay. uh -huh, okay, now he got it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, calm down now. Okay, let's not use ad hominem when you see the way. <laughs> okay, it says, i.e., Muslims will remain, including the hypocrites. So, Muslims and the hypocrites will remain. Including their hypocrite, which means the Muslims and the hypocrite Muslims. Calm down. This is saying with hadith is brackets. I.e. Muslim is bracket is in the hadith. No problem. Okay. And you highlight it. And 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 huh? and and so, so and lie. and okay. Huh? Mm. And what are you saying? Mm. Is in brackets. My friend, my friend. Yeah. So what? Is it who is the so one? What, who, uh, who, so you know who you is, like it. You, you like see, it no, the, 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 the bracket is there to get you busted. It is you yeah. who say that this is not including the Muslims. This is your Muslim translation. Oh, yo, 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 you have to be. Okay, uh, hold on, guys. The Muslim, they got him busted, not me. Be my witness. He said this is not for the witness, not, not for the Muslims. But the bracket there, i.e., the Muslim, is made by who? Is that something Christian Prince he added, or this is rare in your website? Okay, can I can I just interject a quick second? Mm. So earlier, when I gave you the verse and I used the brackets. You said that's in brackets, not there. So why are you lying? So right now you like the brackets. Why do you have this agenda? I'm not Why saying I'm not saying it's there. I'm saying this is your Muslim explanation. It says I e the Muslim. You deny it's for the Muslims. So the, the 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 translator he got you busted to confirm that this is what it's meant. Thank you very much. No, who no, is no, the no, one? No, who is no, the no. one who put the I e Muslims? Is that the Christians or you Muslims? Calm down. I, I see the game you're playing now. Earlier when I used it, why did he stop me? Why did he say you're lying? Why did he call me a liar? Because you say this is for the Christians. No, no, calm down, calm down. You got busted now. We caught you. So earlier when I used it, why did you say I was lying? <laughs> you are lying because you said this is for the Christians and for the ones who okay. worship the sun and the moon. Okay, but, repeat, repeat. but here, but here, here it says that your God Allah is coming to you, and He is going to say to you, "I am your Lord." And look with me, the one who worship the sun, He will say, "I we seek refuge by with Allah from you." The one who were, hold on, let, let me show you how stupid you are. The one who okay. worship the sun, he will say, I seek refuge okay. by Allah from you. No, no, calm down. Calm. Okay, listen, listen. This way it is okay. The monastics will be tricky. Calm down, calm down. My friend, how somebody worship the sun, he will say, you are not our Lord. We seek refuge with Allah from you. If person worship the sun, he will say, you are not our Lord. We worship, we, we will seek refuge to the sun from you, not to Allah. Okay. So Let's they are seeking see. refuge okay. to who? They are those, those, the, to know their religion. What art are they? Are okay, they seeking no, refuge to Allah no, or they are seeking refuge no, to the no, sun? Okay. Is this a monologue or is it a dialogue? Can I, can I just speak for one second? Yeah, okay, sure, sure. Let's, let's, let's focus on what you're saying. You're talking about when you say, 
and then only this nation will remain, including the hypocrites, and Allah will come to them in a shape. Others they know, and they will say, I am the Lord, they will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Mm. This is our place, we will not follow you till our Lord will come to us. This is the Munafiq. This is not the Muslim, this is the Munafiq. Aha, Abdul, this is my explanation. Abdul, Abdul, you are an official certified donkey. Sorry to Abdul. say that, but you, because, because the, mun the Munafiqeen is the Muslims too. Yes, but the Munafiq. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Bed. Allah is coming in a shape, right? My friend, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. In front of you, it says it clearly that those people, they believe in Allah. In the beginning, you said to me, this is the one. Look how you change your mind now. In the beginning, you said to me, oh, alhamdulillah. Those are the Christians. Those are the one who worship the sun, the moon like you. Those are, and now you admitted that those are the Muslims, but they are the liars Muslims. No, I never read it, so I refrained. I was wrong there. So ah, okay. Now, okay, okay. I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you to the end of the road to see how many lies you you create in the coming fifteen minutes. Now, I'm not, I'm okay. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on. What we learn from this that Allah is coming in a shape other than the shape which they knew. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay. okay. Who is the one who says we seek refuge from Allah? Is it only the the liars or all the Muslims? Okay, let's read it again. He says, and then read it again. Nation. Go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you're saying that I'm lying. You'll find out who's lying. Today. You're lying, my friend. Yeah, okay, right. I'm lying. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's read it. This this will refute you right now. My and friend, my friend, you, 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 speak, you speak Arabic, right? Don't you speak Arabic? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Don't Do you speak that. Arabic or not? Let me show you. Let me get you busted in Arabic. فيأتيهم الله في غير الصورة التي يعرفون فيقول أنا ربكم فيقولون نعود بالله منك هذا ما كاننا حتى يأتينا ربنا. So this is the nation Muhammad is speaking about his nation including the hypocrite inside the nation. So all the Muslims Allah will come to them. Allah will come to all the Muslims. That's exactly what I was saying to you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thank you very much. So Allah will come to all the Muslims and the no, Muslims no, no, still. No, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. He will come to all of them. The Muslims will recognize him, but the, the monastics won't. No, read with me carefully. No, no, what's going on? Read with me carefully. Muslim. Allah changed his shape. Allah, he changed his shape. It's not about to recognize him or not. Allah changed the shape. Allah, he changed the shape. Read with me. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew or they know. He come in a shape other, other, and will say, I am your Lord. They will say we seek refuge with Allah from you. Then we will not move our place and nobody will follow you till our Lord come to us. And then when the Lord come to us, we will recognize him, as you said to me before. And then Allah, yeah. listen carefully. And then Allah come to the same people, the same people, yeah. the same group. Then Allah come to them in a shape which they knew. And then will say he will say, I am your Lord. And then he will. they will say, no doubt you are our Lord. You got busted 20 times in five minutes, my friend. So this is the oh, same people, the same people. They reject Allah for he changed his shape. Now hear the problem. It's not all the no, lies no, you say. It's not no, all no, the no, things no, you got no, busted. No, no, the problem is now you have two Allah. You have no, Allah no, number have, one no. and you have Allah number two. Which one you follow? Okay, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me re what I said to you. Mm. I'm not going to move from this point until one of us are defeated. You sure? Okay. He says here. And then only this nation will remain, including the hypocrites. Mm. So the monastics are there. Mm. You understand that? Mm. Don't say I was lying. It says this. Mm. And Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew. And will say, I am your Lord. Mm. They will say, we will not follow you till our Lord comes to us. And when our Lord comes to us, we will recognize you. Mm. Then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And they will say, I am your Lord. They will say, no doubt you are our Lord. They will follow him. So the first time, Mm. The first time when he came, mm -hmm. that's the Munafik. I believe that's the Munafik speaking. My friend, it says uh -huh. it says then only this nation, i.e., Muslim. Do you see it? No, uh, that's I. That's your bracket. That's Don't be uh, stupid. No, no, no. Only the, the, forget about the the bracket. Delete it. Erase it if you want. No problem. It says okay. then only this nation, only this okay. nation will stay. Muhammad he spoke about the other nations who worship different God. Correct. Yeah, only yeah, this yeah. nation will stay. Will remain okay. in there, including including their hypocrites, including. Okay. So yes. the majority is not the hypocrite. The, the hypocrite is including between the Muslims. Allah will come to them and in a shape other than the one which they knew. So this is a new shape. This is shape number, let us say shape number two. 
and then he will come to them and he will say to them, I'm your Lord. They consider him shaitan. They say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. And this is our place. We will not follow you. Why? Because it's shaitan, obviously. We seek refuge. The Quran says it clearly. When you see shaitan, when shaitan, when shaitan, he starts inspiring you with things, seek refuge by Allah, right? Against shaitan. So when we say, A'uzu Billah, you seek refuge by Allah from shaitan. So here the Muslim, they call Allah shaitan. And here you will see Allah, he come to them in a new shape. And then the new shape is the one they knew. Okay. And they will let's say, let's no let's doubt, let's you are our shape, our, our God. Okay. Okay. Let's establish here. There's two times, there's two shapes here. Let's mm -hmm. agree on something. Okay. Okay. So okay, let, let us, let us, make, let us make it clear. Me and you, hold on. We will write, we will write our right every word you say, because I noticed that you are a person who swallow his word so fast. You say something in a minute and then you take it. Okay. So you just say, guys, did he say, he, Allah, he has two shapes. Did he say that? No, 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 no. You just no, say no. that. I, you I, just I, say I, that. You, blah, blah, blah. you say there's, there's two shapes here. Those are two shapes. Shape of who? See, the way you do, you stop someone at half, half point. If I say, my friend, point, but, the but two shapes here, you admitted that there's two shapes. Shape of who? Okay, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Don't, don't interrupt me. No, give me an answer, a short, and uh, then you can explain. The two shapes no, here are shape of who? I might as well leave my, this, this, this bullshit. This shape, no bullshit. I know it's a bullshit. Everything you are saying is a bullshit. I agree. Are you, you, you are running you, away. You just admitted the two shape. The two shape are the shape of who? I guess it's, can you stop talking for me? No, so, I want you to uh, give me an answer because uh, I am here. I am here to, to corner you because you will speak forever saying nothing. Finally, we made you admit that Allah has who two shape. No. Okay. No, Do you come, are you saying the first shape is not the shape of Allah? You stop me halfway through my. Are you saying the first shape is not the shape of you, Allah? This is a trick that you that you do. This no, I tricks. don't. I don't. My friend, I do all my tricks so Muslims can yeah. be forced to say the truth. We have shape number one and shape number two. Shape number one, make it clear for me. You are smart, and we are not. Shape number one belong to whom? Give me the name of the person. Okay, like, I'm a, I'm a, don't, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Shape okay. number one belong to who? Give uh, me the name of the person. I'm, I'm, I can't speak. You're why you why you yes, will not give me the shape number one belong to who? Is it is it belong to Muhammad? Is it belong to the angel Jibreel? Is it belong to uh, Aisha? Is it belong to who? Give me that the shape is the shape of who? Allah will come to them in the shape. Of Thank you. Allah. This is the shape of Allah. Finally, we made him say something. So this no, is the shape. That. This is the first shape here. Is the shape of Allah? Wonderful. Okay. Now we hang up. Mm. Yeah, hang up. Hello? Yes, my friend. So thank you very much for agreeing that the first shape yeah. is the shape of Allah. What about the shape? No, no. The shape please, second please. the second shape. What the the second shape is the shape of who? Okay, calm down. Do not interrupt. My friend, office. I'm talking to you, please. The, the second shape, just to make it easy, the second shape is the shape of who? This shape here, the second shape. Give me a name, please. Both, inshallah. Thank you very much. Guys, did he say the word both? Did he say yeah, the word both? both? Okay, both. Let me write it because later he will, he will say, I did not say that. Both shape for Allah. Okay, I will move it and I will put it here. So everybody can see it. So okay, now, okay, so, so we I have mean, an agreement. We have an, we have an agreement, me and you, that I mean, Allah have know. both shape. Okay, now, Allah have both shape, which means two shape. Which one of them is Allah? Oops. <laughs> Yo, can you stop giving me a... No so problem. Then, Which shape of them is Allah? Is it both? You said both of them are for Allah. So now where is Allah? Yes. Sir. Where is Allah? You heard me say. In the shape number one or shape number two? Can you let me speak? Can you have a... Sure. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. So, okay. So the first one, when you're saying, we, you say we seek refuge and you're saying, I would be there, Mishay Dari Jim. I interpret this first issue of the monastic. The monastics are not able to recognize because they're hypocrites in their nature. They are hypocrites. That's a lie. That's lie. Because it says the nation and the hypocrites, 
Allah will come to them. It doesn't say the Munafiq will not recognize you are a liar. Secondly, secondly, this is not my question now. Forget about it. I don't care if it's the hypocrite or not. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew. So oh, it's a new no, shape. No. It's a new shape. It's a new shape. And you are the one who admit it's both shape. Did you say both shape? Listen, can you let me finish, man? Wait you me just man. say they are two shape. Now, Allah, where where is Allah now? In shape number one or shape number two? Two, listen, listen, the two shapes, two mm. shapes in mm. terms of what's it called? The monarchs are not able to recognize Allah at all because they are monarchs in nature. The second, the Muslim moon, are able to recognize Allah. They're both Allah. However, the monarchs are not able to recognize. Abdul, uh, Abdul, Allah. Abdul, I don't want to insult you, but you are forcing me to say that you are a certified donkey again because you see in the front of you it says Allah will come to them again. Allah will come to them again to the same people, the same people. Allah okay, that, will come that, to them that, that, again. Do you know how to read? Do you know how to read? Do you know how? Do you know how to read? Do you know how to read? Read with me carefully. Read carefully. Then Allah will come to them, to them, the same people in the shape they know. So first time, what happened? He come to them in a shape which they do not know. Second time, he come to them the same people in a shape which they know, and this is why they rejected the first shape and they accepted the second yeah. shape. I'm done. I'm done. Let me let me let me help you. Let me help you. With no, your please help me. Life. Please help me. Okay, okay. Let's set down a premise, a foundation where we all agree. Okay. Allah is talking to the Muslim moon, the nation, and also the hypocrite. It's just talking to two different people. Correct? No. Uh, you you are you are you are a dirty liar. You are a dirty liar. Oh you are a dirty please, liar. Because please, here we go. It's in the front of you in Arabic and in English. <laughs> In the front okay, of you, in the front of you, in Arabic and in English, okay, Allah will come to them. Is. Allah will come to them in a shape. Who the Muslims, this nation, Al Ummah? Do you know how and to read? Arab do you know how to read Arabic or not? Yes, yes. And who else? Okay, okay. And and wafiha munafiquha. Read with me. This is your prophet saying wafiha munafiquha. By the way, you said this is between two brackets. In fact, it is in Arabic. The bracket is correct. Wafiha munafiquha. Include, include. Include the hypocrite, which means the nation is the Muslims, include inside it the Munafiqeen, all of them, and Allah will come to them, all of them, in different shape, okay. and they will reject him, all of them. Lie? No, no, calm down, calm down. Where did I lie? I said to you, he's talking to the nation and he's also talking to the Munafiqs. How did I lie there? You said no, you said, no, you I'm, were saying, no, you were saying, you were saying that the one who did not recognize him is the hypocrite. Yes, that's a lie. Because he come to them, because let me get you busted. Why? Because the hate when it's continuous says Allah will come back to them again and they will recognize him. The same people. He did not add a new, he did not add a new group. He did not add a new group. He did not add a new group. No, I know. I agree with you. That's, that's what that's where you're wrong. Okay, listen. So Allah comes to the first time he comes. First time because they're not able to recognize him. Mm. Why? So my, why? This, why? No, no, why? They, they, because they're hypocrites. No, they're no, hypocrites. no, 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 no. This is not that. This is not that. That, that, that you are a liar. It says because he comes to them because it says in the front of us because Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew, not because they are hypocrite. Don't lie. It says there. It says the reason. It says the reason why. Why do they recognize him because he came in the shape which they knew? Why did they not recognize him because they came in a shape which they do not knew? So the reason not to recognize him, not because they are hypocrite or good, because Allah changed in his shape, and you are the one who admit that Allah have two shape. No, no, no. Why well, I said to you, let me let me explain myself again. Two shapes in terms of the monarch not able to recognize him and the Muslim. Shut up. Coward liar. Don't call me again. You've been cooked, you've been served. Get lost. If you go back, you will see how he was confirming that there's no way Allah will come to them and they will recognize him because he is all high majesty. Then I scroll up down a little bit. It says, I have a surprise for you. It says they will recognize him. Now he have to play the game that this is about the hypocrites. It doesn't say that. Including the nation, including the hypocrites. Allah will come to them all. And this is your Muslim translation. This is your Muslim translation. Allah will come to them. To who? To the Muslims, including their hypocrites. 
And by the way, that will not change anything. Because Allah, he come to them in a shape other than the one they knew. That's it. It's confirmed that, that Allah, he changed his shape. So the Muslims, they lie to us, saying to us, we don't accept God if you don't come to us in a shape which is fit with him. Well, here we go. Here we are. Your God, Allah, he changed his shape. And you throw rocks at him and you throw zucchini at him. And now we have two Allah. We have two physical beings because remember, Allah is a physical being. How Allah, the physical being, he transformed his shape. What happened? Right? What happened? Uh, we have a Muslim here. He's asking how God can eat. Abdul, more more barbecue in the way. This guy he will not answer. I don't think he have the courage to answer. Coward. Answer. Coward. How Allah? How God? He can have emotion. How God can eat? Well, <laughs> you see how stupid you are. If you are saying that. Not eating will make you God. Not eating will make you God. That's mean stones. They are God. If God eat is going to change his nature, prove it to me. Jesus was holy. What eat? You, know, you see, the stupidity of the Muslims is beyond imagination. Jesus said, it's not what goes inside your mouth will make you dirty. It's what comes from it. So to know who is God, who is not, let us judge the fruit of Jesus and see what he can do and what he cannot do. If Jesus eat, that did not change that he is God in the form of a man. If your God Allah cannot eat, that means he cannot be God. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Why? Because he cannot be God. Your God Allah, he confirmed to us that he cannot be God unless he have a girlfriend. And that is a clear evident that Allah can't be God what kind of God he need a girlfriend in order to have a son that is a stupid to say right that officially stupid to say how God can be God yet he says I cannot have a son unless I have a girlfriend you explain to me our God he can give Mary a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend. How Mary she was able to have, to have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend. I'm using the same logic of your God. You see, your logic. Allah is debating the Christians, right? Okay. How Allah confirmed to us that he cannot, why he don't have a son? Because he don't have a girlfriend. Well, who is the stupid say that the God of the Christians, he have a girlfriend, her name is Mary, and they have a son, his name is Jesus. Any Abdul? Stupidity. Stupidity is amazing. Your God cannot have a son because you need a girlfriend. I'm going to sign the name of your God in a dating website. And we will make some a Christian to donate for him. Very funny. Chapter 6, verse 101. How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> what a stupid religion. That can be logical if the one is talking is Muhammad. But that cannot be logical if the one is talking is God. That can be logical if the Christian believe that God have a girlfriend and they have a son from him, from, from her. But this is not what the Christian believe. No Christian believe that God have sex with Mary. And they have a son, his name is baby Jesus. So when he say, how can he have a son? 
when he has no concert he is just a question his ability not only proving to us that he is disabled he is a question himself the ability of himself how can he that is a logic of a human being if you ask me oh, christian prince why you don't have kids well i would say to you how i cannot have a how i can have a kid i have a woman that makes sense but this is for me i'm limited i'm not god this is why I said that when we say God is almighty, what make him almighty? Because he is capable of doing anything he wish. There are things he don't do because it's against his nature, but not because he cannot. God is not evil, so he don't do evil. God don't lie, so he don't lie. But this is not about the ability. This is about his nature. His nature is holy. Holy produce holiness. Good produce good. Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them, which means the good tree always give, give good fruits. So the good God always give good fruits. But is God capable? Yes. Is he almighty? Absolutely. Obviously, the God of Islam is not almighty. Same time, what is the point of this game? Allah come to us in a shape other than the shape which they need. I mean, what's the point of this? Especially Muhammad, he told us the prophecy and told us a story. Here we go. Now, if I was there, I will know that the first shape is not is, is Allah. Correct, guys? Just to show you how silly this is this thing is. There's a guy, his name Al Quran Al Karim Kamilan. Call me, my friend. Mr. Quran, call me. Guys. If I tell you a prophecy that you go, you uh, you see someone, he look like a Trump, and you think he is a, not a Trump, but the fact he's Trump, and then Trump will go and will change his shape, and he come to you in the in the shape which you know, which means the real Trump. But now you know what exactly what what you should do. You should say to him, "You are my Lord." So what the point of this prophecy? It's stupid. And why Allah is it changing his shape? Are you able to speak a French? No, my friend, I don't speak French. The only French I know is Anne de Trois, Catherine, etc. And uh, Cascalia, Cascasse. Uh, bonjour. However, we Arab, we are very smart. We can speak French anytime. Just add Lou in the front of anything. That will make it a French. So when a Lou Abdul call me, I say to Lou Abdul, Lou, are you stupid? Lou, are you crazy? Lou, are you mad? Lou, are you uh, whatever, you know? Just add Lou in front of any word that will make it French. Ça va, ça va, yeah. I speak all languages except the one you know. I am Allah. Have you ever heard God? He speak only one language. Adam, Adam, when he was made, he said, Hachu! And Allah, and then Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah. Look, what the heck? Adam, he speak Arabic before all mankind? Who taught him Arabic? The guy he just created, he sneezes, he speaks Arabic. And none of the Muslims ask where those stupid stories coming from. As you see, the God of Islam is a physical being. Remember one thing. Don't don't mix between Christianity and Islam. God of Islam is not a spirit. Let us repeat together, guys. God of Islam is not a spirit. Look at this Muslim. He keeps saying, there is only one God. There is only one God. There is only one God. But he cannot tell us who is this God. A Muslim is like a coin machine. You make a hole in it and all the coins, they come and all of them are from one size. Boing, boing, boing. One God, one God, one God, one God. But the second you ask him, who is your God? He doesn't know. Call me Mr. Quran. Here we go. The other guy is saying there's no God, but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Look how stupid this statement is. You are a mushrik. You associate the name of God with the name of a man. How dare you to say that Allah and Muhammad in one line? Are they equal? Mushrikeen, kuffar. Muslims are kuffar.
Who was the guy trying to call me? <coughs> Hello? Huh? Oh. You are a kid. You are a kid. You are a kid. You are a kid. Why are you are lying? I want you to swear by Allah. I want you to hold the Quran, open the camera, and to hold the Quran in your hand and say, Where do you go? Potato, he didn't even answer. Don't answer. Do we have any Muslim on a call? The second you start going in denial, I'm not going to waste my time with you. I got you busted, I'm done. You've been served. Everybody can see and you are lying. We confirm that Allah have two shape. It is you who said both shape is for Allah. You are the one who said both. And this is what is important for us in this story. Allah has two shape. So now we have two divine physical being. Remember, Allah is not a spirit. Guys, please type with me in the text so we will not forget. Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Type it, please, so we will not forget that. I want you to preserve that in your memory because many Christians, they think the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Christians. The God of the Christians is a spirit. The God of Islam is not a spirit and he has no spirit. He is just a physical being. The Muslims confirm that. All Muslims agree with that. It's not something we are coming with. So we have a physical being who have two shape. How God can be in two shape and he is not a spirit. As long as the Muslims is the one saying that God cannot be inside the space. And he cannot be two person in the same time. He cannot be included in two shape. How we will recognize this from that? Which one is the one? Here we go. The Muslims, you are confused. You are right. You cannot recognize. Allah himself, he come to you in a shape which you don't accept. And you dump him. So Abdul, are you there? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Are you willing to swear that the hadith here is uh, not speaking about all the Muslims together? Listen. Are you willing to swear by Allah to hold the Quran and be honest that you are uh, this hadith does not include all the Muslims? I'm not allowed to swear by some meaning. Why you will not swear? Why? It's meaningless. So huh? I can't do it. It's impossible. Huh? Huh? You can't do uh, swear I'm meaningless. Why not? Why not? If you are being truthful, why you cannot swear? Why you cannot swear? Why you cannot swear? Why you cannot confirm to me that you are not lying and swear that the hadith here speak only about the hypocrite? They will not recognize Allah. Okay. Why do you cry when someone disagrees with you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me take another Muslim. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. What's up, Christian? Friends. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You believe in Yo, God? Uh, you believe in your God, Allah? What's it called? Can you educate me? Like, no problem. Do you, how do you, is Jesus do you believe? the Son of God? Okay. How Jesus can no, be No, I mean like, I mean, can be like God. Okay, that's a that's wonderful question. Okay. If Jesus come to you in a shape you don't like, you reject him, right? What, what is the problem with Jesus? He came to you in a shape of a man, correct? What do you mean? Is that the reason? Why you, why you reject Jesus to be God? Is that because he's a man? No. Why reject him then? Because uh, I'm not sure, but it's not. I'm not sure. A second, you see, is uh, you're not sure. This is not honest answer. You reject him because he's a man. Is that correct or not? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay. See why you said to me a second ago. No. Now, as long that's mean okay. the shape the shape of Jesus is the one who prevent you from believing in him to be God. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. The hadith in front of us says that Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know, and you will reject him. Maybe he come to you in the shape of a Jesus and you don't like him? Is that the case? How Allah, sure, how Allah can come to you in a shape which you don't like and you reject? 
He is Allah, the same person. Allah will come okay. to them. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. What the Muslim they will say to him, get lost. How you do that? Mm -hmm. How you do that? How you do that to your God? Maybe it was, uh, maybe the form was like, hmm? maybe a form of a man. No, not about that. It's what, like, a form of a goat? I'm not that own. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. What is the problem with the form? You said the form. I agree with you. There's a problem with the form. So what the form, mm -hmm. what, what's wrong with the form? Maybe is maybe it was a test for the no problem, no. but he is the same, he's your God. If Allah He changes, if He is your God and He is inside that form, how you mm. reject God? That's mean you Muslims reject you know recognize God by shape. Okay, okay, that's mean you worship idols. <laughs> yeah, because guys, if I recognize if I recognize a person by shape and I worship that shape, isn't it this is idols? Mm. I don't recognize him by his power. I did not recognize him by his or being almighty, by his glory. You know, I recognize him by his shape. So what happened? The same God, he came to you in different shape. You reject him. Okay. Okay. So you're addicted to a shape. You are the same as little chicken. You know, like a, when, when when the chicken <coughs> she the eggs, the eggs, they, 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 they come out to life. Whatever walking in front of them, even if it's a cat, they think this is mommy. Okay. Okay. So now you think uh, Allah in a certain shape will be to you is your mommy. And then Allah, he go and come back. He changed his shape. You do not recognize him. You say to him, you are the wolf. Hmm. That's mean you Muslim don't have a, you don't have a God. You are following an idol. You are worshiping a shape. Your God is a fixed shape and you don't accept your God himself. Even if he's himself coming back to you to be in any other shape except the one you like. So you are the one who decides who is Allah or not. It's not Allah who decides if he is Allah or not. Okay. That's mean Islam is a, is a crazy. Islam is false. Secondly here, when Allah, he took the second Can shape, what happened so? What happened to the, sec the first shape? As, uh, you, as you see here, Allah, he, he changed <clears throat> his shape. He came in a shape other than the one they knew. That's wonderful. Okay. And then they rejected him. <clears throat> Then Allah, he come back in a new shape. And they will recognize him. All right. Okay. What happened to the first shape? Because I think there is one of the hadith that the Prophet uh, Muhammad describes how, how, uh, what's it called? God look, like, looks like he has a hijab. Allah have a hijab. Oh, okay. He's wearing mm -hmm. a burqa. Mm -hmm. Like he... So, is it too... so uh, if Allah is wearing a hijab, then mm. then you will recognize him. If Allah is not wearing hijab, you will not recognize him. I'm not sure about that, but mm. that hadith. And why Allah is wearing us. hijab? Like why Allah is wearing hijab? Because he's there. Like, like the brightness will like uh, destroy heaven. Yeah, it's a very strong in, in yeah and in, in light. Yeah. So Allah yeah. now is that shape? Is a, how that can be shape? But it's a light, because light is not a shape. But doesn't the hadith say that he will come in a form? My friend, yes, it says a shape, shape, it's a okay. shape, shape. Okay. Yeah. So this is how how he is a light, but he is he is a shape. I'm not sure about that, man.